So let's start bringing them back. Try to stay sort of on schedule. It's kind of light at the moment with people, but I think we're gonna end up getting a lot more coming back here real soon. Another one, season three, which is insane. So peaceful as chickens walk around. They don't care. I'm trying to catch him. He usually jumps up in my lap and then I grab him. Oh. And I so that's the dog. Don't let the dog get him. Let the dog get him. <laughs> On video, that would be interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I, it must be, must be because it, it must be because I'm late because I'm looking at Larry and I'm seeing double. So maybe it's just late at, it's late, <laughs> it's late, it's late at night. Like, oh my God, there's two of them. <laughs> there wasn't enough room on that couch for you both to fall asleep. <laughs> this is my brother, Dennis. We're, we're vacationing down in Waterton uh, National Park, which is just north of Glacier National Park. Well, in, hi, Dennis. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> I told him I hope you warned him. Right. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. To start off with, we're going to go ahead and reveal our names. What are the team names? This is always one of my favorite parts of the of the whole game is not knowing what you guys are going to come up with. And there's been so many really interesting things happening in the news that good lord, who knows what you guys have got. <laughs> So <laughs> let's see. And it does look like I said, it looks a little lean right at the moment. We got 18 people at the moment. That includes me. But um, uh, my uh, brother yeah. will not. My brother will not be here. He he's he let me know. So he, hey, well, well, this is there. brother day. You should have your brother here. Yo, no, brother, yeah, brother. He's not it's like yeah. And Larry brought a brother. I mean, I well, anyway, so let's get started with our names so it does seem a little lean but it's going to beef up here pretty soon so janine kyle and peggy what team name are you playing under today <laughs> <It's horrible. laughs> it is. got to be first so we took it oh that's great that is great team normal getting into politics already although Gail, we didn't larry. debate whether we wanted to be crazy or not <laughs> Gail, <laughs> carl larry and dennis is asking for pardon and admission of guilt, asking for some friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love things that like that. Okay, Leonard, Terry, and Alan. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's Susan's fault. All Susan's fault. Okay, ready. Romero, Kevin, and Deborah. Uh, Catch that, from reality. What's on uh, Kevin's hat there? I actually wanted to be, the, I wanted our name to be, damn, I missed the butt chat, but I was overruled. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the butt chat. What the what hell? It, it was a video call. Mm -hmm. Craig Foster accidentally yeah, a video call. started a video call to the CSI Con 2019 Facebook group on Messenger. <laughs> Oh, like, I saw that. That and was I a work. Said, I'm know. out of here. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm out of here. It was a. <laughs> what was he doing with a butt chat? Well, oh, gee, Susan, that. I can't imagine anyone that would do that. But it was like I was making the bed when I did that, and that was a <laughs> current conversation. Well, he, we didn't he, ask Craig what he was doing. Craig had to have gotten like into something from two years ago. <laughs> how, how do if you he go? doesn't use Messenger, that's probably the most recent messenger session on his device oh well come on now i've seen that okay so detached from reality all right so bob jamie and vincent uh our team name is 
<sighs> we like inflation when it comes to our score. <laughs> 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 oh, good. Okay, so we got some good ones. I like this. All right, so we are in game number 111 and season three. The 11D first. The 11D first birthday, <laughs> which is a reference to uh, the uh, birthday of Bilbo Baggins from The oh, Hobbit. Yeah. Or not The from, Hobbit. From, from, oh, from The Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. yeah. There you go. Episode two. 11th. 11th birthday, yes. So we have tonight. On our 11th game, we have Team Normal that is going to be led by Kyle, who will have the first round. And then we have is asking for a pardon and admission of guilt, asking for some friends, which is led by Gail tonight. Um, it's Susan's fault, led by Terry. Oh, here comes Karen. Let me let her in. And Faith, uh, um, Detached from Reality, which is run by Romero. And last but not least, we have, we like inflation when it comes to our score, and that is led by Jamie tonight. So, and here comes Karen. We get Karen. <laughs> Romero, you doing around tonight? Yep, he sure is. Hey, Hi, Karen. Susan. We have the yeah. most score. We need, we need. Susan, I'm not doing around oh, tonight. You're not? I, no, I, I didn't I was last doing around. Week. Okay, Kevin's doing around. Yeah. So is Romero, team, right? we're on the same team though. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I did it last week. Okay, so Kevin, you're moving. Well, as you said, it's it's Susan's fault. So Kevin, you're moving to. Um, <laughs> you're moving okay. to Susan's fault. We get Karen. Do okay. I get a new team name? Yes, and oh, the other guys get my team name. They can revoke because I'm not. No, dead. no, you can you can be detached from reality somewhere else. Sorry. I. I... <laughs> I said but, but I can't because they already have more people. You are a true team. believer. We have to shun you from the cult. Sorry. <laughs> so wait, we have we really there? would like to be with Team Normal. The two, the two teams that they should probably re, rename themselves if they want. So the Team Three is Kevin's. Kevin needs to be on Team Three, which is it's Susan's fault. I'm okay with that name. Okay. Okay. All right. But now we only have three people on our team. Like yeah, three. that's that's kind of current in most of them. And we'll only have two when I thought you were switching there. me and Terry. Or, no, or I don't Andy. need to switch Terry. I can leave Terry there. You can give okay. us Karen. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't have it to be on team three. Okay, so I, I can put Karen on your team. That's fine. <laughs> detached from reality. Yep. Karen, would you like to be detached from reality? All right. Wouldn't you rather be, be a team normal? We have cookies. Why change? We have now? cookies. <laughs> There'll be more people joining. Oh, here comes here comes. Um, oh no, they're just um, the <laughs> we the have candy. stuff. So that's fine. Hey, where's Keurig tonight? I don't. No, I don't see her. Bunch of hey, where? Where's Carl? Carl's here. Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm here, but where's... Ben is not. Yeah, where's Ben? Here's Jane. Okay, let me let you her. will not see Ben tonight. Where's Rob? He's taking his kids to a movie. Yeah, where's Rob? Yeah, where's Rob? Adrian's Dad, in Finland. Okay, I'm going to put um, Jane. I'm going to put her on. We like inflation when it comes to our score. So I'm making an executive decision, Jane. You are on. <coughs> You are on, uh, we like inflation when it comes to our score with uh, Jamie, Vincent, and Bob. Okay. Okay, I think we got it set. Now, see other late arrivals at the moment. I'll decide where everybody else goes very soon. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, so good, so, so far. So we're gonna lead off with Kyle and I need to sign somebody the uh, give them the powers to be able to all Gail's doing a round tonight right yeah she's got a round my little thing oh yeah Gail's second I will make Leonard you're going to be in charge of the uh, muting people tonight oops such power I know don't let it go to your head <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Terry, I see your message now. Okay. All right. So we're set to go. So here we go. Our 11th birthday. 
and it's all yours, Carl. Kyle, sorry. All righty. I'm looking right at him. So I was out a little bit ago, went home to Illinois, to Chicago, where I'm from. So thought I'd do the state category. We did have an Illinois category once before. This will be all different. And very little ever happened important south of I-80. So it's mostly about Chicago. So <laughs> Alan's got this, huh? Oh, yeah. First, first one, all the streets below mm-hmm. share a major Muting property. everyone in three, two, one. So all the streets uh, in question one listed below share a major property except for one. Which of those streets doesn't fit? Question number two. Four Illinois governors have gone to prison. Uh, Their names are below. Which one was jailed for offenses unrelated to his public office? Question number three. Chicago is known as the Windy City because, four options here, uh, perhaps it's because of the lateral currents from Lake Michigan, which generates strong wind vortices, the density of tall buildings causing wind vortices, a Chicagoans' reputation for being chatty and braggadocious, i.e. windbags, or Winifred Winnie McCormick uh, once owned 80% of the city's commercial land, thus the Windy City. Question number four. Oh, I got to uh, shuffle this real quick quick give me one second all right question number four i'm giving you four events and four years match up wait did that work one second hold on let me try that again All right, so there are four historical events taking place in those years, 1854, 1869, 1871, and 1893. The events are the World's Columbian Exposition, the Chicago Cubs being established, a cholera epidemic that killed 5.5 of uh, percentage of Chicagoans pop- of Chicago's population, and the Chicago Fire. Order those in the correct order. On to question five, the World's Fair, featured 14 great buildings. Spot the fake from those listed below. Question number six. The Chicago flag is blue and white stripes with four red stars. What do those four stars each represent? They each have a a particular meaning. Question number seven, in what census year did Los Angeles overtake Chicago as the second largest city in the United States by population? This is plus or minus not quite 10 years um, because of course census is every 10 years. So you have to give me the exact right year. Question number eight, we're gonna now delve towards the more skeptical side of things. A Richard Crow used to be a famous supernatural tour guide who led bus tours around Chicago, pointing out uh, spooky sites and things like that. Which of these places was not on his tour? The Sears Tower, Hall House, Chicago Water Tower, or the Drake Hotel? On to question nine. Which example is not a true Chicago legend? A, a hitchhiking ghost woman who disappears from your car as you pass Resurrection Cemetery. B, the Eastland disaster involving an alleged Navy effort to cloak a ship, which ended in time travel and 850 deaths. Uh, C, the Chicago Cubs could not win the World Series because of a curse involving a goat. Or D, a devil baby was born and hidden in the attic of a settlement house. Uh, Three of those are true legends. One is false. (laughs) Three are true. Oh, lovely. And lastly, which of these uh, cryptozoological creatures is not at all associated with Illinois? The Coal Hollow Road Monster, the Chicago Mothman, the Lake Michigan Sea Monster, McKelly and Bembe, or the Enfield Horror? Oh, very cool. These are definitely different questions. <laughs> Good job. Okay, send us to our rooms. Kyle, do you want to do that or, um, or Leonard? Oh my goodness, some people didn't get a sign. Hold on. It's so strange. I changed my hat. 
Oh, I was trying to copy and paste something, so I said not now. So go ahead and send me to my room. Okay. Yeah, it's odd it's how here. that happened. I didn't get that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. There's Karen. Oh, some of you guys weren't assigned too. Let me see, Karen. I was board. assigned, but I didn't get sent this time. Um, you're in five. And Kyle, you can go wherever you want. I think everybody else is taken care of now. Okay, I'm going to go to room one. All the way through it. So, so uh, who's the expert here on the uh, Chicago? You, Kyle. You. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we have. We Boy, have a, you're gonna get these, We we could we have a possible zero here. No. no. Yeah, yeah, yes. we, uh, because I think I knew one. Okay, good. So okay, number let's... one is all the streets below share a major property except one which doesn't fit. No Milwaukee, idea. Elston, Western, Archer, Clybourne, and Ogden. A major could could they all be northwest except one? Could they all be east? I mean northeast. I don't remember Chicago, Chicago, no clue. North, south, western. I don't like western. That's way that's way back. Chicago's way back east. <laughs> There shouldn't be a street. Yeah, but there is a west. west there, even though it's way back east. It has a west side. Oh, I suppose. So if we don't know, we should just pick one. All right. Well, we, we'll, we're, we're going to pencil in Western just because it came up. Nobody know, really knows anyway. So Nobody I like the knows. idea that it's in the middle, too. It's not the first or second, you know. So that helps, too, just from a test taking. It sounds like something they would have made up. Four Illinois governors have gone to prison. Which one was jailed for offenses unrelated to public office? Well, it wasn't Bagovich because he- you No, know, yeah. That, we know that. Maglojevich, whatever his name Maglo is, George Maglo Ryan. Maglo George Ryan, I think, also went because of stuff from office. Daniel Walker or Otto Kerner? Doesn't ring a bell. Flip a coin, huh? I don't know. Otto, Otto is a German name, so maybe he went to prison for something. Shall we say Otto for now? Sure. And that's A. Yeah. Well, it doesn't Three is a really good question. You know, we all thought it's because of just the wind of the city having, like, number one, A. That seems like the common one. But maybe yeah, it could be that A and B are kind of it true. It could be. It's either A or B. Yeah. Well, hasn't it been known as the Windy City way before there was big buildings? buildings? I don't know. I would think that the B would intensify it, perhaps, but not. I do, but I don't think it's on. the reason. You don't I think, think it's, it's Windy? A. Somebody named Windy? I think <laughs> it's no. I think it's the wind off the lake. Yeah. Okay. A. Are we okay with that? <laughs> wind off lake. All right. Hey, Deborah's trying to call me. Why is Deborah trying to call me? Deborah, why are you trying to call me? <laughs> Kevin and I are still in the main room. <laughs> oh, waiting to just get in? Oh, I saw your text. But... Yeah, Kevin's going to go to room three. I need to go to four. Well, why are you there? Uh, I, I was trying to... Um copy and paste the, the questions and so I said not now but then it didn't happen at all and I don't know what happened to Kevin but he's still here too okay hold on a second I'll go over there all right guys okay. <laughs> I'll be right back we'll chat amongst ourselves yeah you left me in my old room I gotta go to three not four and you're a mute and I said something so amazing all right so <laughs> <laughs> I will the easiest thing to do is just make you guys a co-host for the moment and then you guys can go to your own room. Okay. Then so I'm going to three. You're gonna go to three. Yep. All right. And Deborah, you are going to four. Wait, 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 from four. reality. And I'm where going did it go? There it is. didn't give me a message saying you had and I saw your text, but it didn't. I thought, oh, I already at, I already fixed that. But okay, apparently not for what okay what are we deciding i was thinking the fire was 69 um are you on five we're on four, four. we're the on events. Four. order the events <laughs> would cholera have been the earliest maybe maybe 54 54 for cholera yeah that seems like i for some and reason then the chicago fire feels like it's 69 
That's what I good. said too. That's, That's good. what Janine thinks, and I like it. Okay. And so that leaves us with um 71. I think 93 is the Columbian Exposition. So 71 could be the baseball team. Okay. Could they be that old? Are you saying the cholera epidemic was 54? So yeah. So 71 was the Cubs and 93 was the exposition. That would be what you said, yeah, if we make okay. I'm not I'm not strong with any of those, but yeah, okay. yeah. This is a really hard question. Yeah, it um, is because you get any of them out of order and you've missed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we could all we could we could say the same year for all of them, and we get one right. There we go. No, but, but that I think doesn't help. One point, so you have to get them all the, right. You it doesn't help right. to get one right. We have to get them all right to get any yeah. points, huh? Yeah, well, I think so. Sad. Yeah. Okay. The World's <laughs> Fair featured fourteen great buildings. Um, I think the manufacturing buildings won. Oh, I'm not sure. I know the mines building was one. I would believe that, yeah. And alchemy probably makes sense. And electricity I too. Don't building about electricity. Is there an electricity building in Chicago? Well, this is the World's Fair. I know. What year are we talking about? I think the anthropology building, not. Um, yeah, I would but say you the know, women's building. I think. The etheric and alchemical building, that's a weird thing. Yes, that's a weird one. And the anthropology one, those are the two that I would zero in on. And I think all of these buildings exist. Like the mines building, there's a- It's still there, you think? It's still there and it's a museum. Mm -hmm. And the manufacturing building, etheric and alchemical building, I don't know. And the anthropology one. Would the anthropology one now be the Natural History Museum? You seem to know a lot about Chicago. Trish and I were gonna go and then we had to cancel it, but I started studying for it. We were taking the train. Well, oh, I, I did pick one. I know. That would have been great. Oh, train trips are I so I still fun. want to do it, but yeah. we'll have to see. Um, uh, my vote is for the alchemical reference, which sounds like bourgeois to me. And, but maybe, I mean, I don't even know when this was. So maybe, maybe they were trying to turn iron into gold or something. I think it was gold. 93, but mm. alchemical, yeah. I'll go with that one. Are you all right with that, Susan? That's fine with me. Etheric and alchemical. I really don't know. Okay, the probably, and that probably means that it's the real one and the fake one is probably something basic like electricity, huh? Four red stars, oh. what the four stars represent. So uh, there's like a big thing about sides in Chicago, east side, west side, north side, south side. Oh, you mean the points of the compass? Yeah, they talk that about was, it from the east side. Like really, side. That's really good. Points of the compass. I didn't know that Chicago had its own flag. So points of the compass. I think all states do. I mean, all cities do, don't they? I don't. Yeah, I, I think or they have a city. I've something. never seen the Corvallis or Tillamook flag. Yeah, well, really. you'll have to look it up next. Um, Monterey has a flag. Well, we have a seal because it goes on your like police officers. Of course, you'd have a seal. You you have the aquarium. Oh, <laughs> but not in Salinas. Oh, so, oh yes, yeah, Salinas. Okay. What in, in what, what census year did Los, Los Angeles overtake Chicago as the second largest city by population? So oh, it had to be Dust Bowl era, right? So it'd be the 1940s. I would think a little later. 1940? I think 50 or 60. Really? Okay. I mean, it really got big um during the you know like the whole um lockheed time and you know in chinatown um yeah, everything's going big and chinatown's like 30s 
and Hollywood started to get big. People are trying to come to Hollywood for. So 1960 would be the census year. 50 or 50 or 60. 1950 or 1960. It seems like 50, I think it would be post-war. And if it's post-war, it would be 50. 50 was just released. So like April 1st. So in what census year? I guess they would know that. No, okay. No, yeah, it's still all right. Because the year was just released as far as like, you could look at your family who was in 1950. Mm -hmm. So, but they did know how many people. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. I don't know. I, for some reason, my gut's telling me 60 and I don't know why. I feel like 60 is better. I was thinking 50, but then I am not. You're 60. Whatever you guys decide. But I like your thought but process. I can, I can see stuff. between 50 and 60 that people would have been moving in. Right. And then they, this would be, the census would show it. In and 60. that would be 60. If they moved in in the 40s, yeah. I so I think it's 60. I go with 60. Susan can say, Nan, Nan, I told you so when we're wrong. Okay, 60 is fine. I have no idea who Richard Crow is. Okay, but the but the haunted places, Hull House is haunted. Um, Chicago Water Tower, I believe, is haunted. And I don't think the Sears Tower is. That's because the one that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Yes, uh, that's my thought. I, I don't know anything about the Drake Hotel. That sounds like a hotel would be have dead people. Yeah, a, a hotel sounds, like sounds better than, mm -hmm. and I think the Sears Tower is just a newer building. But it's, it's yeah, people would see it, but not necessarily because it's haunted. Right. Okay, now we're on to the legends and they all sound so ridiculous. Okay, well, we know, okay, we know about the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, C, C is definitely true. D sounds true. Because of the true. goat? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. D sounds true. B sounds true. I think it's the hitchhiking ghost woman because he had to, he had to make something up, and I think that a would be an easier that's like a common hitchhiking i mean a common um urban legend mm -hmm. and you think this whole navy effort to cloak the ship which ended in time travel in 850 dead well that wasn't in chicago wait eastland oh 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 b is um sounds like he's describing the philadelphia experiment which was in philadelphia and that was where they tried to cloak the ship and, and there was time travel. So that would oh, be- Okay, so B be, is Philadelphia. I think, okay. <laughs> I hate that. Okay. I, don't, I don't know these things, but I think B is, he's describing the Philadelphia experiment, which would be okay, the hitchhiking good. ghost. I agree. Which disappears from your car as you pass Resurrection, resurrection Cemetery. Well, if, if B belongs to Philadelphia, it's not Chicago's. But it's not so Eastland. That I don't know where we got Eastland. Okay, whatever. Uh, which is not, which cryptozoological creature is not associated with them? Okay, the Moki, who the heck is that? Well, Kelly Mbembe. And what is the Michigan sea monster doing in? Well, Lake Michigan. Is that on Illinois? Right mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. Chicago Mothman. I don't, I've never heard of the Chicago Mothman. I just heard of the Mothman. Oh, these are good questions. I don't know. The Enfield Horror. Does anybody know what that might refer to? No. I thought I know my cryptids too. So I don't know. You're going to have to do further research, Susan. Jeez, the Christmas. Um, Is McKelly Mbembe maybe like, you know, there's that whole Candyman no it's a i think it's a it's I think it's um i think it's a like a how would i describe it like a dinosaur bones they found i think well, kelly mbembe i think so it's really popular it sounds uh, like I an african i don't know where it's at yeah it sounds like an african chief kind of thing <laughs> i would roll a dice on these i don't know i guess 
I would leave in. I've never the, heard of the Chicago the, Mothman, though. The Mothman, I've heard of. I would leave B and C in. But the <laughs> other three, never heard of. You don't of think them. he would have made that up? I don't like Enfield horror. I don't That's either. Cool. That's, I'm good with that. Okay. It's fine. Whatever. You did Never heard of it. You guys are great. I did. Yeah, oh, we're, we're just like making up answers, Susan. We're yeah. just making up answers. We're great because we can make up answers. And there's <laughs> only a few of us. So that makes sense. Look at Peggy's a lawyer and I know she how makes, to lie. She makes firm decisions. This and, is and we could get a zero here. And that's okay, because we're playing for fun, not money. Exactly. But you know, just when we went out after making up our name, you were optimistically saying we could win. We could. We can do it. It depends on the categories. Then we realized <laughs> Carl was here tonight. Yeah. Oh, Carl's here? Well, never mind then. Carl's here. So. It's not fair that he does everything. Here's oh, Kyle. Kyle. Those are great questions, right. Kyle. They're we great questions. Not that we know any of them. None. None. We don't think we knew any. If we if we get any of them right, it's sure. No, I, mean, I we thought knew. I knew. I thought I knew. She thought she None. knew her cryptoids. Well, I know my cryptoids, we'll but I don't know those cryptoids. <laughs> There's one of them I know, but I don't know where it's located. It's that Moki Mimbi. I'm thinking, where is that? And of course, I've heard of the Mothman. But I didn't we know could eliminate. We could eliminate some of the options. And I've never heard of a like Lake Michigan sea monster. Like I so, know, so that improves our odds for and, sure. And on uh, nine, I think, and you can't say, of course, I think B is the Philadelphia experiment. You just change the name. We but should find out. I was. Kyle, uh, your team might get zero. Just <laughs> oh, I know. You prepare house. for the ignominy. I've never I been to Chicago. Well, I think Neither. everybody's either finished or relented. Do I hit close all rooms or what? Yeah, do I but do? wait till you get out. So no, I get this, out. Is, room. this no, is his room. I know, but this is the last place he was in. So you all leave right. this room and go to the main room, hit close all, close all rooms. And then when the next game round starts, you'll be put back in here. Wait, what's the, how do I get to the main room? Uh, leave room. Leave. Oh, okay. Don't leave meeting. Just leave room. I'm with. Oh, I guess he went. And now he'll call us back. We're on time today. I hear Mark washing dishes. He says, this is, I said, are you going to play? And he says, well, what are the categories? Why don't you know in advance? I'm like, because that's how to play it. <laughs> I, I would just look it up. Because we'd study up. My yeah, point knowledge right. would be way better. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. We'd we all might. be doing our homework. Well, think about it. If he had told us the category tonight is Chicago, would you have looked at any of these things up? I would have looked at something for Chicago if I if I'd had I had to. I would have looked at so. the book I got before our trip. Our but would any of these things Chicago. been on there? Maybe the flag. The flag might. Yeah. I, I might think things were in my book. The legends might. Cryptoids? Maybe no. not cryptoids. That's no, a weird I category. Why is it called the Windy City? Might have been in there. Well, anyway, guys, you did great. Thanks for helping us, Susan. Yep. We yeah. ended up still getting it done. Yeah, that was pretty neat to see you on television. Oh, it was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, did you watch his show? Jane, is that uh, what you well, saw his show? The HGTV series where he was on. Yeah. That was fun. I watched, I watched that and I said that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Beautiful house, too. Yeah, they did a nice job. Very good. And I like the colors you guys chose and all that was great. So Kyle, we're ready to get a 10 out of 10. Oh, Kyle, right. that was I was just telling him that was a really good category. And if we had known in advance that we were going to be doing Chicago and went and did a bunch of research, <laughs> none of this would have come up. I still all wouldn't right. know the answers. <laughs> well, let's jump right into it then. If only I would have thought to move to Chicago and live there a long time and pay attention to its history. <laughs> and and, and yeah. then join this category. And I the map do that. I, I, I lived, I've, lived, I've lived here a long time and I didn't pay attention evidently. So you, 
Alan, you were supposed to get a 10. Your team yeah, better not, get a not even Not a chance. Not oh, a come chance. Come on. We got to have some hope. Okay, Kyle, go we ahead. We can start with time. number one, uh, figure outable two different ways. Uh, the most obvious answer, well, the correct answer is Western and hey, the property. Yes. Good Why job, Janine and Peggy. Two ways you could look at it. All the others are angle streets instead of northwest or north south and east west streets. And that also means that they were old Native American trade routes. But Kyle, you had to know the names of the streets in the first place. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Alan. And where they were and what they. <laughs> we got I think right. I can name all the we got it snow. right because I didn't think Chicago was west. I like oh. the thinking, not correct, but uh, like a lot the of people actually, if, if you live in New York, you think it is. I think it's a we, period of time. Like name in Chicago or Wabash and Wacker. Okay, if we can I, if right. we can stop right there on 10 out of 10. I think uh, we're the only group that would complain about getting the answer correct. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> because I didn't understand the rest. Here comes Rob. Uh, well, number two, it was Daniel Walker, whose Daniel. crime was only for something once he got out of office. Uh -huh. Sort of savings and loan, something or other. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe we all got 10 out of 10. Now, does Rob know he's going to be on a team by himself, Susan? Did you talk to him about that? <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead and give us the answers, Rob. He, he can have that name. Like he can have the name I was going to use. All right, and he's so got a three. storm happening behind him in Hope in Florida. What what wonderful category did I miss? Chicago. Okay. And Kyle's running in. He's giving us the answers right now. Go ahead, Kyle. Indeed. So for three, uh, Chicago is known as the Windy City because of the reputation, in particular, for politicians to be chatty and braggadocious. Oh, right. Jay Karen. Is that no true? I knew that oh, one. I knew My that one. My team didn't believe me. I said it's probably not the obvious one. Oh man. <laughs> Say. All right, then question four, uh, put these events in order. There is the correct order. The cholera epidemic was in 1854. The Cubs were established in 1869. The Chicago Ooh. fire was 1871. And of course the Columbian expedition comes after that, not just because of process of elimination, but also because Chicagoans saw that as a big overcoming of the fire. So if we got one correct, do we get the point? We got, well, was, we got two. We got two. We got two. Yeah, I have all four. We got three. Was that, Karen? Rob Can wasn't here, but five? Rob would like to retroactively complain for four answers for one. Question. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely. Agree with those. You go. Rob. That's right. Kyle, Just as it was, you right. it was the two hundredth anniversary of Columbus landing in the, in North America, eighteen ninety two, eighteen ninety sixteen ninety two, eighteen ninety two. Yeah. Sure. Or, yeah. Or if, if you don't want to go by the official story, there's that you could go that way. <laughs> um, number five, the building I made up is the etheric and alchemical building. Uh, yeah. there, there, there you go. Uh, okay, Leonard. All right. Yeah. Number six, uh, the four stars. Well, OK, so here's how we're going to do this. If nobody got all of them, then three gets you the point. If nobody got that, two gets you the point and so on. So. Did anybody know all four stars were Fort Dearborn, the Great Fire, the Columbian Exposition number no one, way. and the second less good exposition later? We got three out of the four because we guessed it was like going to be all the things from the other question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we got four. three. So three, three wins three the point. Somebody knew it. Three wins the point. Sounds all like right. it. Thank you. Wow. All right. Number seven. <laughs> we're not doing so bad. You guys are going to be as shocked as I was. I couldn't believe this when I looked it up. The year, the census year in which Los Angeles overtook Chicago, 1990. Oh, wow. I am shocked. In fact, here's a, a little Cora thing for everyone who uh, wants to double check too. Very I don't believe anything on. I don't believe oh anything God. on Cora. Yeah, <laughs> that's the worst to guess one. What year everybody guessed? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> what year I, did everyone guess? 1970. 1980. 1980. 1980. 1980. 1970. Oh, wow, we were way off. We certainly on the trajectory. We debated between. Is it plus or minus 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> Is it plus or minus 10 years? Janine, what was yours? Plus or minus nine. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. We debated between 50 and 60. <laughs> yeah, it's plus or minus nine. <laughs> <laughs> and then the supernatural tour. The Sears Tower was not on his supernatural tour. Oh, wow. I I actually heard Richard Crow speak and I met him one time and I bought a VHS tape from him. Sure. I was on never heard of him before. Is really the interesting Drake character. Is the oh, Drake yeah, Hotel? He, yeah, he was a, he's a, yeah, he was interesting. Is the Drake Hotel the one with the fountain and the ducks? Oh, my um, that no, it's the one with just one male duck. Yeah. <laughs> that's, there's no, there's no fountain or duck. In that. down no, the that's a New York hotel, hotel then. That's, that's a New York hotel. Be. For those of you watching now, we're here every Thursday. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Larry and and Dennis? Did your your internet go down? I scared them off. Okay. Oh, they're, no. there. they're there. They're there. It's just, they're muted they're in the muted. Co covered up. No picture. Well, hopefully they'll be pleased to hear that number nine is B. The Eastland disaster is an actual historic event and 850 people did die, but there is no legend associated with time travel. That is the Philadelphia experiment. Yes! Susan, Susan, Susan knew it. for skeptic creds of another week. <laughs> I, I recognize that. Last but not least, what <laughs> cryptozoological creature is not associated with Illinois is the Michele Umembe. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I do. I'd heard of it. I couldn't, had no idea what it which, which ones are. Sounds African. All the yeah, others are legitimate. Yeah. Yes. No, I, so I don't, Kelly I, Mbembe is yeah, thought to be a modern. Is it real? I don't have access to the uh, question. Now, Kyle, you look, did you look that up or did you actually, have you actually, I'd never heard of any of those. I've heard of Mo Kelly Mbembe. Here is a source that'll get you started. I've heard of all of those. And I searched specifically for Michele Mbembe in Illinois, which wouldn't make sense if it's a dinosaur uh, and couldn't find anything. So I was confident putting that as the fake. There, 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 are, no, there are no dinosaurs in Illinois. Well, not <laughs> in the museums. We, we skipped from the... <laughs> We, we missed the whole Cambridge. Jurassic. Whole yeah. So, Bob, where are you? Where are you now? He's in Peoria. You? You're in Peoria. Are you in Illinois? With, yeah, with yeah. A, with a, with you a have a dinosaur in your lap. Yeah. We have Sue. We have. Right. Uh, you have right. a dinosaur in your lap. Yeah. Thank you, Leonard. I, I was going to say question, it. Mike, I a question. I use the term non avian dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so We're Mike and Ron are going to have to go on Teams here in a minute. We're such oh. a bunch of nerds that so many of us. Well, I know. <laughs> That's why that, when Bob. I <laughs> Okay, so let's get our scores so we can see how Ooh. we did on the category of Chicago. Boy. Sorry. So, Team Normal, which was four. Kyle's team. Oh, I'm shocked we got four. four. I know. We're lucky to have gotten those. <laughs> okay, is asking for a pardon and mission of guilt? Asking for some friends. A whopping six. Wow. Okay, it's Susan's fault. We also got three. I mean, six. Six. <laughs> I don't know where three came from. No take back. No take back. <laughs> six. I was thinking of something else. Detach from reality. Uh, also six. Six, six, wow. six. We oh. like inflation when it comes to our score. Six. Damn! Whoa. Kyle, the panic. only team that didn't get going to have to roll a D10. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. I detected a, I detected Kyle, well a pattern done. there with the team names, except for that last one. Oh my God! What am I do with Rob? I'm going to put Rob in Team Ooh, Normal. Yay! Mike. I can't Rob. go on the team oh, with uh, Drunk know. Giuliani. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. well, well, we, we might need to change for our discussion. We'll change to Team Giuliani then. Um, team Crazy. What am I going to do with Mike? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Who's about to, who will probably leave? And... I, I want to be on the team with Sydney Powell, release the Kraken. <laughs> they'll all stay. They'll stay. They'll Are stay. you watching the uh, hearings, Rob? I saw the entire first day and the, the part before they cut to wherever else they went uh, on the second day. I missed today. You haven't seen today yet? Oh, my God. It was excellent. Me neither. Okay, I'm going to put Mike on the last team. 
because I, we like inflation when it comes to our sport because I, I have my reasons thinking that it's possible we may have somebody who's, uh, we'll leave there before we leave anybody else, but I don't know. So, that would be, good job, that would Kyle. Be, I, I know, it's, it's me. Don't be, you, you, okay, yeah, it's possible yeah. we'll lose Vincent, so. That's possible. I have to make a choice, and that was. I hard. don't. <laughs> you guys all getting six, getting the same score isn't right. You're supposed to play as and lose one point so that you definitely get the extra person. <laughs> now know this, okay? So very good job, Kyle. Thank you so much. We're gonna go with um, Gail. All right. She's put something in the chat, so that makes me feel like I put it in the chat, and I'm also going to share it. Um, Make sure our, it yes, our topic fruits. is unusual fruit. Unusual yeah. fruits, not just regular fruits. Okay, not just regular. Larry, wait, wait, just pause a second because Larry and Dennis are just showing up again. I and guess I'm, we're having internet problems. Uh, Thomas John. Thomas John. Oh, unusual, unusual fruit. fruit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. Jeez. <laughs> Kevin. Unusual fruit. Okay, let me see. Is Larry and Dennis here? Yep. Okay, we were wondering where you guys were. Did you hear us a few minutes ago? Asking uh, where you were? No. Okay, well, we were asking where you were. So now we know where you are. And you okay. Can, can that link be put into chat? Yes. Here mm -hmm. it again. Oops. Okay. I'm going to show everyone the PowerPoint that has the questions, but I've also put the link. It's on the first slide of the PowerPoint, but it's also in the chat. So you can pull it up when you get to your room. Larry, see if it goes the there. Pictures. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it Hopefully goes. That's going to work. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here are the, the questions. Beautiful. You'll notice that there are ten, there are there's ten and one bonus. I have a little a picture of the fruit and a little thing about them. So number one, although it's native to North America, it's not as common as it used to be. It even has a festival in Ohio every year. Seeds and skin are toxic, but the flesh is sweet and custard-like. <laughs> Number two, tropical fruit known for antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and immunosuppressant properties. Grown in tropical America, it's gaining in popularity. <laughs> Chicken goes, I know this one. Number three, very sweet Asian fruit that is now grown in Florida, often found canned in syrup. Number four, soft and juicy that is tart when ripe, but sweeter when overripe. Frequently used to make juices, jams, and toppings. Number five, and I'm sorry our Australians aren't here today, because Australian citrus that has tiny balls that burst when chewed, often used as a garnish. I did that just for him, and he's not here. Wow. So even <laughs> Australian fruit is trying to kill you by bursting in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Asian fruit that is native to Sri Lanka and Malacca. It's now also grown in Florida, Hawaii, and Malaysia. And oh, help. Number seven, known as the largest fruit from a tree, the pulpy yellow fruit is often compared with pineapple and banana. They're huge. It's hard to tell in a picture without that, but they're enormous. They're the size of a watermelon. Number eight, Native to subtropical regions of South America, it was named by Christian missionaries. They saw the five wounds of Christ and the beautiful flowers of this vine. And there's also a picture of that flower here. <laughs> okay, number nine, famous for its very unpleasant and very strong smell. This fruit is either beloved or hated. Popular in the Philippines, it can be found as a flavoring in USA in places that cater to Asians. Number 10, can be found in some American stores. Crispy and light flavored, it is really pretty in salads. And the bonus, this unusual berry is significant because glycoproteins within it bind to the taste buds on the tongue. The end result of this is that for roughly an hour, any other food you try will be distorted into having a sweet taste. 
This feature of the fruit can create whole new tastes. This effect means that you could keep, eat the fruit and then eat a lemon and that lemon would taste sweet. Oh, interesting. Okay. Great category. Any questions? No. I think okay. I need lead right. and the starfish. Hey. Hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Larry, Hi, you Ed, you Ed, you por you're not muted, Larry. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Gail. You can stop sharing. Good thing his answers were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Gail, yes, what do I do? Put his, put his I send up in room. Yeah. Somebody? Stop, uh, stop sharing. Stop sharing your screen so we can. Oh, stop it. sharing my screen. Okay. And send okay. us our rooms. And breakout rooms. Open all rooms. Very good. And I will put all the unassigned because they're just sitting there waiting for me to assign you. So Larry and Dennis are going to go to room two. And Mike Wolf, you're going to go to five. Rob, you're going to go to one. And I guess we're set. So I'm going to my room. Hello. Hello, team. Hello. I know none of these. Oh, geez, I was hoping you know some because I know about half, and that's it. Oh, that's a lot. I don't know any of these. They're very pretty, though. Okay. Neither mind. I never even heard of them. <laughs> Who's starting? So Who's I, taking? I think I know maybe number one, six, seven, eight, and nine, and that's it. Okay. Pretty so. sure one's a persimmon. Really? Yeah. Seeds and skin are toxic. No. We grew up persimmons here, and I thought we, I don't remember them having seeds. Oh, geez. Wild persimmons are loaded with seeds. And I don't remember anything about anything being toxic. I don't know. I'm a wrong person. Well, first of all, I think it's persimmon. Second of all, you have to suggest an alternative. You can't say no. <laughs> oh, is that how you guys get the high scores? Yeah. Well, Carl runs a tight we, ship. We don't, we don't leave a blank answer. So the answer that's there is persimmons until someone suggests another answer. So, um, Gail, go to room four. It's being asked. Uh, Karen's asking for help. And then... Well, three is lychee. Spell that? Oh, gee. Or just phonetically spell it? <laughs> L-E-C-H-Y. Okay. L-E-A-C-H-Y. Right. Yeah, okay. That's good enough. Never heard of it. Okay, so two, what do we think it is? Um, no idea. No it's clue. gaining in popularity. Hmm. If, if my wife was still up, I'd ask her. <laughs> no idea. Soft and juicy that is tart when ripe, but sweeter when overripe. Just oh. Jams and no idea. Never seen it. Okay, how about five? Oh, those look amazing, like caviar. Thank you. It looks like tapioca. <laughs> okay, six. Starfruit. Uh, yeah, six star is starfruit, unless there's some other name she's looking for. I hope she accepts starfruit. Yeah, I've seen this in Hawaii. We've eaten it there. Okay, that's six. Seven? I think seven's a jackfruit. Jackfruit? Jackfruit, yeah. Is it spelled just like jack? J -A -C -A? Yep, as in the house that Jack built. Never heard of it. Um, eight. A passion fruit. That makes sense with the name. Yeah. Sure. Okay, nine. Uh, I think that's a durian, D-U-R-I-A-N. Have you ever eaten it? <laughs> nope. No. 
That looks amazingly weird. Okay, 10. Uh, looks like a kiwi in the middle, mm -hmm. but. It looks like a kiwi if you leach the green color out. <laughs> if you take the, if you take the. Um, it is really pretty. No idea what it is. And yeah, I don't bonus? know what that is either. No, I don't know. And I don't know what the bonus is. I've heard about this though. Yeah. <clears throat> I think of that would be really interesting if it's a good taste to get people to, um, you know, feel like they're having sweet stuff. People like me who love sweet things. Of course, can you imagine eating a lemon afterwards? I mean, it might turn your stomach once it's there. Oh, that's true if it fakes you out with stuff. Is that, is that the thing they call the miracle berry? I, hey, I that's, that phrase. No, that, that, yeah, sure. <laughs> Go with that. Okay. How confident are you guys? Well, we have blank answers for three things. I, I haven't even a clue. A while, I haven't even a clue what to guess for those three things. Yeah, I don't have. I don't know anything about. Yeah. Hmm. Well, ten. I think that's all we're gonna get. <laughs> ten looks like poppy seeds. <laughs> that that Asian fruit often found in syrup. That. Should know that. Where's Dennis? We can't see you, Larry. That sounds very. Yeah, I'm trying to reduce our uh, our data charges here. Okay. So, Dennis, know any of these? Nope. And I'm and I used to be really good at the uh, game called a trivial a pursuit, but this subject matter this evening is right out of my <laughs> experience base. I love trivial pursuit. Absolutely adore that game. But you're right. This is nothing like Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> but the more you play, the more you find that there's something. Someday you will go, or, I know this. This I, is oh, my gathering. Very which, which one you're on there, Carl? Uh, I'm just looking at four and five. I got no clue on either one of them. I get, just, there's no point in making something up. I guess we just go with what we got. Soft and juicy. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what these are. All right. Good job. I'll see you guys back at the main. Close all rooms. We're going to breeze this through tonight. I want to watch the hearings. I mean, I already watched them, but I want to go back and look at all the highlights and and listen to the commentary. Man, it was good. Did you see it today, Carl? I have not been watching the hearings. They're so good. Man, it's intense. I'm bringing everybody back. They're going to be pissed at me. <laughs> There's nobody back. This is kind of one of those categories you either know or you don't know. There's not figure outable a lot of this. Group. There's not a whole lot of guesswork you can do. Mm -mm. It's not like there's math involved or anything like that. You know, unless, unless there's like a couple of different fruits you confuse with each other and have to figure out which is which. But. Boy, oh, oh, it was. 
this was a tough one. Yeah, you either knew it or you didn't know it. <laughs> well, there were few, so, Dale. there were a few people on our team that did know it. So I think our score will hopefully our score will improve. Yeah, kind of like name this spaceship. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's much that more was, important. That's I much more important that. information. Yeah. Yeah. Lighthouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did everybody have the time? I didn't close the room. They, I did. It happened. Oh, oh okay. okay. I figured so you guys were done. Time? Good. Are you ready yeah. for the answers? Yep. Absolutely. Sort of. Okay. Okay. Those are gorgeous pictures. That was fine. I'm, I'm going to. I didn't know anything, though. <laughs> But they're really pretty see. pictures. They were pretty. Oh. Somebody took some nice photos. Mm -hmm. They're copied. Probably Carl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Gil, Gil had these all in her kitchen today, and she just took pictures of them. Lunch. She's taking Lunch. orders, too. <laughs> Fruit photography. Photography? Going on. Photography. All right, that's not working. We can see your screen. Oh, come on. Yeah, we can, we see, can your see your screen. Don't, don't. Okay. You got it. Okay, you got it. All right. Yeah. Uh, let me get slideshow from the beginning. Okay, name the you got that you got it now, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I you are you seeing the full slideshow? We're yes. seeing yes. you. Yes. We're seeing the full thing. Click to add title. Yep. That was my second guess. Yeah, that's what I was afraid you were getting the wrong the wrong screen. Let me <laughs> share the right yeah. screen. Yeah. Uh, we just got click no title yeah because i just it, no you don't it. want to click that share. no no you, you I want to that. you I'm want to trying, stop you you I'm want to stop the to share small so that I stop can... the share stop the share <laughs> <laughs> you just tell us the answer then just 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 click just through, scroll it. through it it's just fine. start start with number go one, and, one tell us, and then go through them tell us what okay. it is well i have i, I can do that um, I've got show. all the answers I'll put in the chat as well, okay? Okay. Yep. Just say which ones oh, are the fakes. This is the one without the answers. I <laughs> need the one with the answers in it. Oh, God. But what are you doing? Those are fine. Those right. are pretty pictures. Let's, let's yeah, start this but, over again. Show the picture. Share screen. Share screen. And I'll just do it that way. Click on the one with the pretty and now picture. now you've got the it names. from the beginning. There you from go. Okay. From the end. Oh, she gave away the end Slide of the movie. Slide show from the <laughs> beginning. It's okay. Just click on each one, Gail. It's okay. Go. Okay. Do you have it now? There we go. Yes. yes. We do. Okay. The Perfect. The first one is Papa. 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 Remember oh, yeah, picking up Papa's, Papa. put him in your pocket? I was almost going to put that in, and I decided it made it too easy. Uh, uh, it was very unpopular Bob now, but they once were very popular in the United States. Bob lives near Papa. Not a oh, oh gooseberries, dear. They're, they're also called ginkgo. And one team noticed it because it was papery on the paper on the outside. That I was... forgot about gooseberries having that. Number three is lychee. I tried to tell you. Hey, good one job, team Larry. Has exactly right, but backwards. I hope you finally decided. You were confusing it with the ramatan that has all the hair on the outside. The lychee is the one that doesn't have the hair on the outside. Thank you. Yeah, Thank nice, I am not nice team. Debra, nice you were right. Faith and I were wrong. You we're were in the right. Larry got right. this had the right. right throat. She just uh, had the backwards. Nice they job, Leonard. Yep. Nice job, Leonard. Number four, I know at least one of you got this one. Cloudberry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Was that pumpkins? Okay. <laughs> Little mini pumpkins? No. Okay. Berry. 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 Number five. Yes. Berry. I knew there was a lime involved. Berry. But I didn't know. Isn't, that, it, isn't that also called a caviar? <laughs> it is. I think it's called a caviar lime as well. It's caviar lime is an alternate name. The official name is the finger lime. So caviar uh, is caviar right. Caviar lime is okay. Okay. Oh. Wow. That's like a nickname for it. What about ginkgo for two? No, <laughs> it's not ginkgo. Okay. Uh, six is star fruit because there's when you slice them, they're shaped like stars. Yeah, so is an apple though. I think uh -huh. that's inside. This is on the outside. It's apple called the star eating. fruit. Remember, you've got a a picture here that doesn't look anything like an apple. Yeah, and the the big the big you don't know Jack. the jackfruit. The, the most the national fruit of India. 
I love it. And eight, and I saw one team figure it out. It's because of the passion of Christ yes. that got the name yes. from there the we missionaries. Got it. Yep. That's yep. Yeah. Excellent guess. I, I, I have one team was saying it's the passion, but I don't know the name of the fruit. And I'm going, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of that passion fruit? Yeah. And this is called Dorian. Dorian. Yeah. There's actually uh, laws in Philippines that you can't bring them on a bus. They, they smell that bad? Horrible. They do. Oh, they, they can't be Dorians. They're not gray. Is it a uh, uh, What happens when you hit 55? Or is, is it, it well, The painting of the grave, Larry. Dur yeah, D-U. I always saw it, D-U. Have, have we had at least twice before in this trivia in the last two years questions about that specific fruit, or is there another really badly smelly fruit? I think we the one, one. At least one, one time, yeah. And cheese and that's got maggots in it, too. dragon fruit? And you can get them in many American supermarkets now. Yeah, I've seen it. They have very little flavor, but they're really pretty. And we thought it was called the Kevin has seen this fruit. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I got it eventually. Name. That's the unofficial name. That's and right. finally, I hope you figured this one out. You said you had to know it. This one you really could figure out. It's called Miracle Yay, Fruit. Yay, Ramiro! Yay, all right. What about Yay, Leonard? Would you accept Miracle Berry? Sure. Okay. Now, oh how, how do you, you accept figure, berry fruit? How do you just <laughs> how do you just figure that out from what? You have to because it's the, it, it's the, it what has it a is, miraculous it's a effect. And there were teams talking about how it, it acts like a miracle, but you had to figure out that that was also. I mean, why it would be you, that it would be a miracle have, if I could figure it out, but that well, but that would be it. You have the yeah. scientific name for that, Gail. Not for miracle fruit. Miracle fruit. Miraculous fruitus. Miraculous. Sure. Is the, the star fruit also called a carabola? No, that's carabola not... is different. Oh, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, I'm misremembering. That's okay. Well, look it up. Deborah, it has I will never points. doubt you is again, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will oh, put oh. the carabola is also known as star fruit according to Wikipedia. Oh, oh, okay. I remember right. There, in that case, you can give it, a, give it, get credit for it. I didn't know that. Well, we didn't, we didn't put it down. I was just showing it. <laughs> <I knew that>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we got it right, so Bob. Oh my gosh! Stop Person sharing, Gail. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I thought, thought that, that was our right. I'm uh -huh. stopping sharing, and I will put the answers in the chat. Oh God! As a list. Kevin, you look surprised. I yeah. do it. I Crazy do eyes. it. I do it. A baby. There's a baby. Why can't I get my scores? Okay, somebody will have to figure this out. But it's not showing the um what's it called at the bottom where it averages the out average the score? Right here. Drag it, uh, click on 5.6 cell and drag it over. Take the, click, not the little square, the little uh, blue square there. Click that, drag it over. Boom. Um, no, I mean, click on it and drag it through each cell. Go I back. I think to she the, did it. Yeah? Okay, sure. yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah, you did. I'm wrong, again. <laughs> okay, keep team normal. <laughs> Betting a thousand. <laughs> Yeah, that's seven. Seven. Wow. Ooh. You're in the lead. How's it feel? Bleeding. <laughs> okay. Asking for a pardon and admission of guilt. Asking for a friend. We are consistent. We got six. Okay. It's Susan's fault. Who kept track? Oh, eight. <laughs> I, I was talking and I was muted. Eight. Okay. You're in the lead now. Detached from reality. Nine. Nine. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Look at these scores, 11, 12. We would have had 14, 10 if we didn't talk ourselves Well, 13 is bad luck. Yeah, it's bad to skip it. It's actually, <laughs> four, it's actually 14, but we, we like inflation when it comes to our score. We got eight. Oh, good. Well done. Yeah. Wow. Mm. We'll put a comma there. Eight. Eight. <laughs> So detached from reality at the moment is the leader. So let's do a, a photo. So everybody get their pretty shiny face up here. Tell 
Okay, ready? Kevin, are you ready? I'm going to change my hat back. Hold on. Hurry back. Hurry up. Kevin's going to change his hat. Okay. Ready? Nathan Romero, that's uh, adorable. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay, ready? Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Gotcha. I think we got it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Um, so before we take a break, I just want to make sure you guys understand that next week we only have two people. So I'm looking when we come back from the break for people to have volunteers. So we'll see in a few minutes. Give me five minutes. Five minutes on the clock. Go. Uh, I'll volunteer. All right. Yeah. Now he's done one. He's all ready to do a lot more. Sure. I, I've got we're going to be. We'll be mean this time. Yeah, we can. I've got an idea. Of yeah, I know. Gonna... Um, and I asked one person from my group, um, or from my team, and he said it's an excellent category. So. Ooh. Yeah. What was that Bob you saying? For a bon I've got an idea for a bonus. Okay, you're. I don't think I have a bonus. Let me look and see. Yeah, yeah and I think I have I a Bob on my phone because my laptop is down but i think okay yeah, i think i yeah i need one I'm more but i'm gonna go give a list of the possible answers that's all i'm gonna do okay <laughs> and i have been urging avi to try and join us but i don't think he can wake up at that hour so yeah that's awful timing he might yeah. he might just try one day just to pop in and say hi he can he can barely stay awake when he was in the center i the know US. that's that's the thing How does my microphone sound, by the way? I got a new one. Sounds like you got a cold. Sounds like I have a cold. That's interesting. Yeah, nasally. Maybe I do. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was about to send you a, a, a chat message privately saying, are you okay? You sound really stuffed. Let me see. Audio settings. Maybe it's set too loud. Well, maybe you should sing one of your songs. Uh, no. <laughs> Do you have uh, uh, do you have the bass uh, set all the way high or it doesn't have that capability? Testing one two three. Hmm. This is like yeah, the, fir the first semi professional mic I've ever bought. I'm surprised then. Yeah, and it, it sounds really uh, very very rich. Very rich. FM very FM radio. If I get closer, how does it sound? Uh, lovely. Very white. Very, very white. Ab absolutely. So maybe lovely, this is right? my real voice and you just never heard the nasal before. That's possible. I, 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 we've met in person. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> you know, memory isn't perfect. It's, you know, I actually have four mics hooked up to this computer. The, the webcam, the one on here, I had a boom mic I've been using for a year and I just bought this new one. And I, and I did a Zoom, I made a Zoom meeting. I set it to record and I just went from one to the other, to the other, to the other test it. And I could definitely, each one was an improvement going in the order I mentioned. So I'm kind of surprised that it sounds that way to you. Well, it sounds good. good. It, it, sounds, it, sounds, it sounds very rich. Good. Okay. Yeah, it, sound, it sounds okay, but it does not sound like you. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, so, so this is the kind that like, uh, it's called a, a Blue Yeti. And it's the kind that, like they said, it's like an entry level for like people who, you know, start YouTube channels and podcasting and whatever. And it's got like four settings. It could do stereo, cardi cardio. Well, you must have it set on uh, having a cold. <laughs> oh, no, that's not good. Mm. Oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll flip the switch to uh, let's see what's the other side. Ten minutes later, she brought the. It, that's the other thing. It's got it's got a volume setting on. I've never had a microphone that had a volume setting on the mic because then there's okay. also one in Zoom. Get that smell so much. Right? So I'm not sure how they how they interact. Well, we get a few bad smells at work. That's better than the shit smell we've got for a while. The what? The what? <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Good to know. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, it is good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Hey, guys, I got a question. Any of you guys uh, know anything about like ele electric electronics, like electric uh, plugs, outlets, you know? Uh, yeah, um, don't like stick a fork into it. 
That's, oh, what, that's, that's what happened. That's what happened. The American design is very bad because you can like, you know, electrocute yourself by reaching and hitting both of the, you know, the two power plugs. No, no, here, here's the question. Uh, my, my wife had this question. We have a, we have a little kiln sitting in the middle of our family room, but it's so it's, it's one of these ones where you can actually plug it into the regular power source, like into a regular outlet. But what she wants to know is if, if it would need a special surge protector or what a normal, a, a normal, you know, surge protector work fine for any anything that can plug into a regular outlet. It seems unlikely that a kiln would need a surge protector at all. Yeah, why? Why are you worried? I would about agree, that particularly. Uh, well, it, no, because it does. It does have uh, a digital, uh, digital you know like a, a regular search protector regular search protector should be just fine all right yeah you might want to try it make sure it's not plugged into the same circuit as something else that draws a lot of electricity yeah so if you if you have any idea of how your outlets are arranged if there's like a refrigerator plugged into one or your microwave don't have them running at the same time no the only thing that would be anywhere near there would be just be some uh some lamps yeah. I mean, you've got circuit breakers anyway. That's what those are for. Just make sure you know where those are. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Announcing Susan is back. Janine, Jamie. Okay. So let's okay. do. Oh, do we have a volunteer? I have Rock, Carl, Vincent, and then Bob is bonus. I can do, do one. Who was oh. that? I got Mike Wolf. Okay. Did I hear that? Um, did I hear Terry say she wanted to do one next week? Yeah, but I'll let Mike do it. Okay, but how about the week after that? Okay. Okay. I'm done. I'm done with all my traveling. So I'm back in the okay. Okay. So is it, are you good for, for two weeks from now? Am I good? Again, <laughs> I know you're good, but <laughs> do you have enough people for two weeks from now? No, I don't have anybody, just Terry. Oh, okay. I can do two weeks, not next week. But okay, so that would be, so Whatever next day. week is the 23rd. June 23rd. And then the week after that would be 30th. 30th. Yep. Okay, so the week of the 30th, I have Terry and Deborah, and we have plenty of time, but keep it in mind. I got one. Let's do all girls. Hey. Okay, so we'll do Peggy. Got it. So here we go. We've got uh, Kyle. Do, Kyle, are you back? I am hey. indeed. Right there. So Kyle, why don't you do what's what's new with uh, Data Skeptic? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, the latest episode is titled The Reliability of Mobile Phone Data. Uh, in particular, I talked to a medical researcher who tries to answer the question, is it even useful to use medical or a mobile phone data to track infectious disease? Is that a viable path for studying the flow of uh, the virus, not just COVID, but others moving around? So that's this week. Fascinating episode. Skeptic. Oh, wow. That does sound really interesting. Really enjoyed that one, Kyle. Thank you. I did too. It's a good one. What's the short answer? Kind of. <laughs> Probably depends. It, it's, it's complicated. Yep. Tune in. That's the short answer. That's very interesting. So, okay, great, great. We got a podcast request. I mean, uh, um, I forgot what I was going to say. We have a podcast <laughs> recommendation. Shout Thank out. you very much. Okay, I'm there. I'm all there. Um, I'm going to announce that on the 8th, 9th, 10th, and the 11th of July, Richard Saunders is going to be here in my house in Salinas, oh. California. I invite you guys to come visit. We will we'll make some way of making that happen. That was pretty cool. Tell him to bring some of those finger limes. He, he's, he's already, already, state, so. he's, he's already, he's already, already in the U.S. And I don't I think, think you can probably bring him in. You can't bring anything in California. No. And then the week <laughs> after that, the 15th, 16th, 17th is Skeptical Con. It's all online. It's virtual. And there will be trivia on the 16th. Again, it's at Yay. night. So Avi can't join us. But of course, I expect you guys all to join Plus all the new people who will be joining that are never played be before. What day I is find that? Up. That's the 16th. It's a Saturday. Same time. Same bat channel. It's in a month. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a month from now. That's right. And then on um, 
the other thing I'll announce, this is way in advance. I'm uh, Janine's got a, a skeptic camp on the 12th, 13th and 14th of August. So if you're in Oregon, if you come in early, we'll just meet over at the 18th Street Agate McMiniman's Pub Friday night, hang out for beer. And then Saturday, uh, all day, our speakers, we have uh, Mark Crisplip. Um, we have a speaker who I don't know yet, probably who's a grad student in biotechnology with Stephen Strauss, Effie Gradehouse, Lauren Pankrantz, uh, Paul Slovak, who's founder of Decision Research, and Eugene, which is an international nonprofit on risk assessment, and Susan and Mark. <laughs> and then Susan Sunday, and Mark who? Oh, and then sun, Sunday is uh, an open house like uh, event of Ray Hyman Appreciation Day. And the, the magicians and the skeptics and the runners group and anybody else who knew Ray, including some of his former students, let's just drop in, hang out. Um, we'll show the Jerry Andrus optical illusions that day too. And on the 16th, I will be speaking to the Seattle skeptics, believe it or not. Oh. Yeah, really? they got they booked that. You found them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Janine, the port. So, are you skeptic, driving up? I haven't decided. Um, either that, or I'll drive. I'll fly up and rent a car. Deborah and Mark and Paula, I think, wants to come up. Uh, the uh, Portland skeptics have a talk on the fourteenth, and I and I said to, I said to the organizer of um, CFI organizer, I'm like, why would they schedule anything on that weekend? They should be coming to Eugene. And he says, uh, Jack and I have talked about that. We we did not communicate with one another. I contacted him after I had reserved our rooms. Oops. So he's he's so, got something so, happen in Portland. But the, but it's not really a conflict 15th. because there's time. Yeah, they can come on the 13th. So <laughs> they don't want to have me come up and do a talk in Portland because it's too close to the talk that they're having there so yeah. i will be coming back to portland to do a talk eventually and in on here's a new thing i'm going to announce on sunday the 21st i'm going to be giving a talk at cfi la so cfi west so if you're in la i'll be doing a talk and that's all i got anybody else have anything that i should know about so i have something happening monday what's up i'm going to put it in the chat I am going to be interviewed by uh, recovering from religion on their RFRX broadcast. And it should be really interesting because I've done this twice before with different specific topics. This is just going to be an interview about uh, scientific skepticism. And uh, so it's going to be a very wide ranging discussion. And uh, I actually recorded what's in the chat. I and Richard Saunders is going to play it on the skeptic zone this Saturday. So. Oh, so that is going to be live on the 20th or we can yeah it's yeah it's, it's they do it like we're doing here it's a zoom session and um, we're going to be taking questions as we're as okay. we're talking from the chat so yeah it should be interesting what time will that be it's eight o'clock eastern time so six no uh five five in the morning p.m here oh it's p.m oh good yeah. all right <laughs> p.m is better than a.m yeah You're off. You're it's off. a it's a.m in, in australia so very not, good not 5 a.m all good no, news 10, lots works happening good. people are starting to st go places do things so this has been fun i just got we're hosting uh brian dunning in september on either the 10th or the 11th i haven't picked oh, the date at, at eugene or in portland okay there's a lot to do you guys just go somewhere and, and do stuff there's probably lots going on. So I'm, I'm going to try to, you know, inject that in the conversation that some of these people who are looking for community and that kind of stuff could also, because right now they're looking at humanist things because they're stepping out of religion, but, you know, they could get involved with uh, the skeptical movement too. So yeah. I'll, I'll tell them about these things. As long yeah. as they understand that we're, it's mm. all about atheism here. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so we're back. 
we're going to go back to our back and the leader so far so far is detached from reality just saying so next up is Wait, Kevin. Are you the leader, the leader was detached, detached from, from reality? reality yes i'm not detached from reality i'm saying the leader is detached from reality but imogen needs they need help to get back to reality let me get imogen in real quick <laughs> just don't storm the capital hello imogen Imogen, it's a lovely kitty. She's on her, there's a schedule here at my house. And so we cannot deviate it from with our cats. And this is time for Imogen to come and sit on my little green, my green chair and watch me. And she's, it's, it's full routine here. Okay, Kevin. Another mystery category. Yay. All right. Yay. Uh, answer the questions, fill in the blanks, uncover the theme. Um, I'm going to make this the questions kind of as simple as I can. If I use a person's name, I just want to know what they're famous for. So I'll give a brief description and, famous, and, uh, famous and I'll name? give an answer. Huh? You mean like what is their name, the name they're famous Like if for? I said Tom Brady, you'd have to say he was a football player and won oh. the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Cryptocurrency. Okay. Or he was said, a big old cheater who does not deserve his fame? Yeah, I'd accept that too. Cheater. If I, <laughs> if I said Bill Clinton, you, had, you could say former president. Saxophone. You know what I mean? Oh. He's yeah, a big old cheater player. who doesn't That's deserve it. his fame? That's right. Absolutely not. <laughs> I've got the theme. I got the theme. <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes just bring your theme with you, right? Okay, here's the first three. Harry Sanders, Ty Cobb, William the Refrigerator Perry. Oh, so these, th oh, okay. Gonna, what's the, what are they famous for? You. Copy the next three. Here we go. Don Hebert, Patrick Mahomes, LeVar Burton. And then if I don't give a name, I'm going to give something else and you have to tell what it is. And here's some examples of those coming up. A 1987 movie starring Richard Dreyfuss and Danny DeVito. I want to know what it is. Number eight. This is, um, I don't know how to say it. I want to know where do quotes the dogs of society howl? And a hint, howl. it'll take you a couple of vodka and tonics to set you on your feet again. How many? How many Giuliani's is that? I don't know. <laughs> no, number nine. To be famous for being a Canadian Playboy model who was murdered by her husband Paul Snyder in 1980. The 1983 movie Star 80 was based on a Village Voice article, Death of a Playmate. Name her. And number 10, I have to show a photo, but this is the text that goes along with it. This is a Dunkin' Donut. This is a Dunkin', and let me show you the photo. to share it, I guess, huh? Can you see that? These are donuts. These are these are blank. You got to fill in the blank. What kind of flower or fruit? <laughs> these are donuts. <laughs> They're blank. There's a box that used to say what they were. I whited it out. Star fruit. Star fruit. Don't give any hints. Paw paws. <laughs> there are leaf hints. <laughs> and there is a bonus. I got to stop the share now. And the bonus is who does Kenny beg for God's sake turn around? Oh my goodness. There you go. And this will all make sense, right? If you start to get the theme, you'll get some of the answers. Okie dokie, Artichoke. All right, so maybe to send this to a room. Uh, uh, Kevin? Yeah. Does, do we have, uh, for the last of the bonus, do you have to have the name? 
Uh, you'll figure it out. It fits the theme. You'll figure it out. All right. Hi, team. Hi, Susan. Hey. I'm Yay. part of your team today. I am as clueless as I am with the fruit. Okay. I know I know two, but that's oh, it. Oh, what a pretty quilt cool you have back there behind you. Oh, thanks. That my grandma made that. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so who's keeping charge? Who's in charge? I, I got the writing. Okay. So we're supposed to know what Barry well, Sanders. I mean, they're athletes. Uh, Barry Sanders is uh He's a football player. Ty Cobb's yep. a baseball player. Did they play uh, in a William, they're or something? a football player. Yeah, so well, it's a football player, a, a baseball player, and a football player. Okay, so football is what yep. he's famous for. The next one's for baseball. Oh, basketball, right? Ty Cobb is like, baseball. Oh, thanks. And uh, Perry, Perry is, is football. Perry is football. Yeah. Barry. Who is yep. Barry Saunders? Barry football. Sanders is a Detroit Detroit Lions. He was a, he was a running back for the uh, so should we play football? Well, we can't have two people with a name football. So there no, has to it's going to be Lions or Detroit. Oh, or running back. So okay, number one will be what Lions? Oh, well, we'll Tigers see. and Bears. Uh, Lions, Tigers, and Bears. And bears. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh. We figured it out. <laughs> yeah, but what does that mean? The Wizard of Tigers? Oz. Yes, it is so the, the Wizard of Oz. It's the Wizard of Oz. Okay. Yes, Lions, because the tigers, answer to the the penthouse pen. is Yellow Brick Road. And the oh. Munchkins, the donuts are Munchkins. Those right. little donut. Holes no, are I thought they were just really. So, donut, yeah, the they munch, were donut holes and even said. No, I've seen no the so box. he said that he had um, whited out the name that he wants. Right. And it that's still what I'm said yeah. donut holes. Yeah. So munchkins. he's looking for the other name, which right. is Munchkins. munchkins. Yes. Okay. I've never heard of them called Munchkins. We always call it them. Must I, be we the don't Midwest. have a Dunkin' Donut here. Yeah, okay, so Midwest. four is Don Hebert. Oh, wait, what's number two and three? Tigers and Bears? Tigers Lions, and bears. Tigers, and Bears. Okay. Very good, Kevin. Kevin, now go to the other teams. And look then what's number you look four? look at this later. Okay, Patrick Mahomes is the quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. All right. Kansas so, City. Now, so LeVar... Chiefs. Okay, He's so Kansas, Kansas. Yep. Oh, can't they're okay. Okay, so Patrick Don Herbert was Mr. Wizard. Who? Uh, Mr. Wizard. Awesome. Which, which question? Four. Four. Uh, Don so Hubert was was okay. the TV Mr. Wizard. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. D, okay, so Don Hebert isn't the answer is in Kansas. No, well, it's Mr. No, Wizard. No. Mr. Wizard. Now Okay. Mahomes is what is there a Chiefs? He's yeah, a Chief. Kansas City Chiefs. I know okay, but, that would be Kansas. Oh, but Kansas, it's in Missouri. But it doesn't matter. Kansas, as in we're not Kansas, Kansas City. Okay. We're, we're not in Kansas. Okay, so anymore. 1987 movie starring no no wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh Mar Burton yeah, would be Star Trek, blind. No, where do you where are you getting the movie? What are you talking about with the uh it says Lamar Lavar Burton? Burton. He was a dancer. No, he he's was, no that that's 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 connected to the two before, four, five, and six. They're they're connected. Uh, six is connected just to the Yellow Brick Road somehow. So why no, Lamar? Lavar Burton. He was whatever whatever is the character on uh, on Star Parker. Trek. On Star Trek, he was guy. also he was, he was also, Forge. but he was also uh, Kunta Kinte in uh, in um, right. in. Um, Oh, Roots. wait. In Roots. He, all, he also did Reading Rainbow. Oh, Rainbow. Okay. Yeah. Rainbow. Over the Rainbow. There you Over go. The yep. rainbow. That, there we go. So, 1987 movie starring Richard Dreyfus and Danny DeVito. <sighs> Want to do, let's do the other ones and come back to that one if we're thinking okay. about that. That was the Throw Mama from the Train. Well, I don't. Uh, that was with. Uh, so eight is is beyond the is beyond the Olympic Road. Okay. Where do the dogs of society hail? You can't plant. Can't, you can't plant me in your penthouse. 
I'm going uh, back to my crowd. Yeah, no, oh, that's yeah. that's a that's a uh, Elton John song. So what's Beyond the, the Yellow Brick Road? Beyond the Yellow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So Yellow Brick Road is the answer. Right. Yeah. We skipped the vodka one. And we skipped. No, that is the one. Cup. That is the vodka one. Oh. It'll take thanks. you a couple of vodka and tonics to get okay. drunk feet again. Okay. Okay, number nine, famous for being a Canadian Playboy model who was murdered by her husband. Well, wait, wait, I'm confused because uh, I've got Reading Rainbow and then Beyond the Yellow Brick Road for six and seven. No, okay, so six is Rainbow. Okay. Six is Reading Rainbow. Oh, yeah. Okay. But we don't know the answer to seven. Oh, thank you. Eight. Okay. Eight is um, the Yellow Brick Beyond. Road. Beyond. Thank you. Got it. Nine. I remember what I remember this Playboy model. I can't remember. I can see her. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Death of a Playmate. Are you psychic? Well, no, what? no. I saw her. I saw a movie about her. So what is no, that? Well, what's, what's what's her name? Uh, what's the character? Uh, I got it. Uh, in in the Wizard of Oz. Uh, what's her name? Dorothy. 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 Yes. Yes. Doris, Dorothy. So Dorothy. Dorothy. I forget, can't remember her last name, but she was the dead playmate. Okay, well, we got the answer of Dorothy, which is what we needed. That's okay, enough. Again, this okay. is Munchkins. Yep. And the 1987 movie with Richard Dreyfus and Danny DeVito. Who does Kenny beg, for God's sake, turn around? I know the song, and I, I'm trying to remember his wife. His wife goes off every day. He's a, he's a, he's a wounded or a disabled mm -hmm. veteran, and his wife... And his wife dry, uh, leaves every day with a banging in the door. But, uh, and I can't, for God's sake, so I turn around and I just, I can't remember her name. Well, oh, that's why, that's why I asked him, that's his, his wife. wife. It's his and wife, but we so need it's, a name. It's a woman's name we're looking for. Is it Glinda? Yeah. Gilda? Oh, Glenda. Gilda. No. Who else is in the um, Wizard The Wicked of Witch. The Wicked Witch of the West and the it's gotta East. be a woman's name. Well, Glinda is one of them. G L I N D A. Yeah, but who's Kenny? The guy. It's in Kenny. Tom. No, it's Kenny. Uh, um, um, Kenny Loggins. Not Kenny Loggins. Uh, Kenny Rogers, I think. Uh, it's his so song. He was. He just. It's his song. Uh, the Sunday he was singing. So the scarecrow uh, or is a woman's name. The Tin Man, the Scarecrow. That was uh, in the. So I think. Uh, so the movie is Tin Man. Oh. And thank you for oh, saying Tin Man. Oh, thank okay. You. 1987 movie. Great. Thank you for saying Tin Man. All right. And then I don't know this Kenny guy. Okay, so we're looking for a woman's name that is in the Wizard of Oz, and that will be the answer to the bonus. And so the woman's name in the Wizard of Oz, there's only. Do you remember the, do you remember the name Auntie of the. M. Auntie M. No, but do you remember the name of the uh, or the lyrics? Any more lyrics to the song? No. So M. E M N T M E M. Could that be the name of the? For God's sake, turn around! And he's talking about his wife named M. No. That doesn't sound right. And I, if I heard that, I would know it, but I can't. Uh, I, so another woman's name that was in the Wizard of Oz. Or something else associated with the women, with the Wizard of Oz. Well. We're isn't there a play? Do you remember the name? What was it? Uh, okay. Uh, what was the what? name? What's her her actual name? The Wicked. Wicked Witch. The Wicked Witch. What is her 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 real name? Do you remember? Oh, what? it's. I don't know. It's an odd name. I don't remember it now. I mean, the Good Witch was Glinda. Yes, she was Glinda, with an I. But if we can remember their actual real names, um, you mean the actor's name? The actors' names, yeah. Oh, I doubt it. I doubt that it's that. Well, all Could of these be... things are things that are associated with the with the Wizard well, of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Frank, so... Frank Baum, he wrote them. B A U. -M. Okay, I'm I'm taking my ear things off because I have to go through the alphabet a few times. Okay. So, uh, oh, Mark's here. So, what other things are there? Uh, There's the Emerald City. There's the Emerald City. There's Ruby Slippers. Yes, Ruby Slippers. Ruby. Uh, Could it be somebody's name is Ruby? Could it be Ruby? 
There's silver uh, slippers sure. in the book. <laughs> could be. Who does Kenny make? It could be Ruby. Well, when so maybe when Alan puts his headphones back on, yeah. we'll see if the uh, if Ruby reminds him of the name of that Kenny Loggins song. I don't know what song they're talking There's about. There's also Poppy, Field of Poppies. Poppies to make you sleepy. Sleepy, that's right. Yeah, not and, that I've seen the movie a lot of times. Hey, Poppy, and what was the other one we just came up with? Ruby. 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 Or, Ruby or um, Toto. Maybe this is a song by Toto. Well, no, it says it says Kenny, so it's pro uh, it probably. It seems like it's... Toto. Toto would be in here. Oh no! You had your, a minute ago. What was? Put it? your headphones back on. I Alan. think it's Ruby. Ruby oh. sounds right. It does. Oh well. Is the Kenny Loggins song have I the name Ruby remember. in it? Ruby, Ruby, that's it. It's oh, Ruby. It is great. Ruby. You got it. It's okay, absolutely. Good. That's it's Ruby. Well, Turn we got eleven. Ruby so was white. We got eleven. Thank you. Yay. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Thanks, everyone. I know, but was, we're coming back right now, so I don't remember if it was yeah. King Rogers or King Loggins, but uh, it was one of the. I, I, I tried know. to assign you, but. You didn't click on it fast enough. So I think it was Kenny. Just hang, but that's hang Ruby. Yes, the thank you. Now. And awesome. that's the name of the song. The name of the song, I think, is Ruby. Good job, awesome. team. You said, Janine. Okay. Oh, man, these were incredibly hard. I, oh. I don't think we even got one. Oh, <laughs> oh, I think most people got on. eights, nines, oh, and tens, I think. On. I'm totally oh, kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Mark Edward is oh. here. Well, he will be here. Oh, no, three, seven, three, he seven, walked seven. into our room and then left. Okay, well, he got confused. So, well, All right. we wanted him to stay. Here come the answers. Boom. Number one. Here come the answers. Barry Sanders is a running back for the Detroit Lions. Yep. Oh, my. Football player. Number two, the greatest, one of the greatest center fields in Major League. Baseball history, Ty Cobb spent 22 of his 24 seasons with the Detroit Lions. Tigers. 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 I'm sorry, Detroit, Detroit Tigers. You're right. <laughs> and then, of course, Refrigerator Perry was in the 1985 to 1993 Chicago Bears. Thank you. Oh, oh my. my. Oh, my. The Bears. <laughs> so I put those in a row. Hopefully, you get the theme right away. Lions and Tigers and Bears? Oh, oh my. my. Oh, my. And before, somebody got it close. He's not a member of a sports team. He's a TV scientist. Don Hebert was known as Mr. Wizard. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. That's 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 How can Leonard. anyone not know that? Yeah, no, 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 Mr. Wizard was just wonderful. Uh, David my favorite favorite show when he was a kid. Didn't know his name. Oh. Mm. He was the city Chiefs quarterback. The, the, yeah. the, the ties in with Kansas. Okay. And, uh, oh, Kansas Bob Burton is famous for Roots and Reading Rainbow. Reading yeah. Rainbow is the part that fits the theme. Jeez. He was also on that Star Trek things. show. Yeah, but it is. Yeah, but who cares about that? He was also yeah, he was a guest host down, on like, Jeopardy for a week. Number seven, <laughs> the answer is Roots. Ten Men. Hey. Movie Not Ten Leonard. Men. I mean, yeah, Leonard picked that up. Well, yeah. no, after someone said Tin Man. Number eight, those are lyrics from Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Yay. Did you get that one, Kyle? Oh, I did man. Not. Where we got that. A couple of gin, the gin and tonic out. line I put in there specifically for you. Yeah. you Leonard was singing it to us. That was for you, Kyle. I yeah. missed it. Oh, my God. No yeah. Dorothy We're the Stratton. dogs of society. How I don't think I've yeah. ever understood what they were singing in that line because that makes no sense. That's why That's why it's hard to know if you don't know the lyric. Oh, it's man. Time. Munchkins. They're called Duncan Munchkins. Oh, yeah. Yay. And Ruby. Oh, Kenny you skipped Rogers nine. Wait, you, you, missed, you missed Dorothy Stratton. Dorothy Stratton. Like, number nine was Dorothy Stratton. Ten is Munchkin, oh, Duncan Munchkins. Oh, and the bonus Ruby? song is a song, Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town by Kenny Rogers. Yes. Kenny. Oh. Uh... 
Yeah, I was. I mentioned him, but I couldn't. Wrong I Kenny. Heard, so I heard people saying answers, and they couldn't. They couldn't connect it sometimes. It's kind yeah, of we said Kenny, so but we couldn't figure on out. On five, on five, we just had quarterback. Is nope. that correct? No, it's Kansas. Kansas, Kansas City Kansas. Chiefs quarterback. If you had to have Kansas in there to get it right. Yeah, because she's oh, trying Kansas. to get the theme. Okay. Well, so we the got theme you guys all got right. Oh, look at Jane's got her her Ruby shoes. Slippers. Oh, Jane! Oh, nice. Ruby Jane. slippers. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. I didn't know Hi. she she had some. Ruby Movies slippers. described badly. Little girl goes on Don't trips, murders the first person down. she keeps, and steals her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, that's right. Murders <laughs> <laughs> two women over Thanks. shoes. Uh, 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 is that a point for knowing the theme or is the theme not no. a point thing no the bonus no the theme, the theme helps is not the a point answers. we, we, we have to help you get answers. Well, ruby is an extra if you don't have ruby counts as a bonus point all right but ruby okay great job Here we does go. knowing that first. the that uh element three and a half is oh my count for anything oh yeah no yeah. i almost put him in there because i've seen some of that but i said i don't know that's awfully small there. I'll Good the job, team. Bigger. Oh, you needed to make this bigger? Sorry. Oh, wait. I need to make mine bigger, I think. I got it. I got it. I made We're it good. All right. So, team normal. We got seven. I Peggy, I think we got eight. Because no. as we were exiting, we said Yellow Brick Road. And Rob oh. said, let's go with that. He did. And you did say that. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got eight. Yeah. Okay, you are in the lead. Feels mm -hmm. good, doesn't it? Long. Okay. Is is asking for a pardon an admission of guilt? Asking six, for six, pardon. and all of the yeah. points. Ten. Ten. There you Ooh. go. Oh, now you're in the first hit twenty. It's Susan's fault. Ten. Which was the team that um, Kevin had. Detached from reality. Also ten. Oh <laughs> wow. Okay. Now they're in the lead. <laughs> so we like inflation when it comes to our score. We got 10. All right. There you go. So very good team. The leader I'm is topic. Josh from Reality. Deborah, that was too easy. Karen, Faith, so this Karen. is just like round one, except the scores are four points higher. So I'm going to put it Mark Edward on <laughs> yeah. the team on um, team normal, Mark. You're on team normal. Okay. Which and the me, average, Kyle, Peggy, Rob, the and... average went up two points each round. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're all getting there. We're getting there. Very. That good was too easy. easy. Well done. It was Kevin. pretty easy. It was fun. Oh, no, it was fun. It was fun, it was fun but too easy. Oh, so, made wow. a faith in. I had a Salem witch did. question, okay, question in you. there at one point. It's that's too easy. I took it out. You fooled some people. Nah, we had it right away. Um, I think that um, Terry goes, oh, lions, tigers, and bears. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I knew, I knew the, I knew the quarterback. Goes, oh, my. And so we knew oh, I, I, I skipped to the end because Munchkins. It's a lovely kid. I've never heard of Munchkins. And Dorothy Stratton. Yes, Dorothy and Munchkins. Yeah, it's a Dunkin' yeah. Donut thing. So what if you a lovely kid. Here. So don't I don't have think have I've ever heard of it. Donuts before. here? What? Yeah, I didn't know. I never heard of Munchkins. What? It's a big campaign in the 80s. We don't have them here. Wow. Not in California. Wow. We have we we have better things. They're Tim bits. They're Tim, Tim My wife bits. says their coffee is better than Starbucks. So you go to Winchell's. It is. Yeah. They're they have Tim Tim yeah. Dunkin' Donuts uses uh, chicory to mellow the flavor. That's like Tim Hortons. Tim, Tim bits is Tim Hortons. Tim bits. Yeah. Okay, so Tim Romero is ready to give his category, and he has the permissions. So mm -hmm. give us a category, and let's mute, and then. In Spanish, I oh. hope that I oh, might God. have a chance. Oh, uh, do you want you want me to give you all the questions in Spanish? <laughs> Not really. I would find no. that much more. Uh, like at least I have. Just tell tell us the category so that we can, can mute everybody. Being grown. The category is bananas. <laughs> Muting oh, in yeah. three, two, one. Remember to unmute yourself. Okay. All right. So let's see. Uh, number one, what country is the largest producer of bananas? Uh, number two, 
The most common banana variety in the US is the Cavendish banana. This has not always been the case. In the 1950s, a disease ravaged the most common variety. What was the name of this variety of banana? Number three, what is the name of the disease that killed the variety mentioned in number two? Uh, number four, uh, BED or the nana equivalent dose is defined as the radiation dose that one is exposed to when eating an average size banana. How many BEDs is the average chest CT scan plus or minus 5%? In the 1930s, this company had 80 to 90% of the banana business in the US and controlled most of the roads, railroads, and ports in Honduras, in Honduras, hence the term Banana Republic. So what's the name of that company? Uh, six, uh, Banana Phone is a popular children's song name the author or the year it was released. You can name either the author or the year. Uh, seven, the banana is considered the atheist nightmare by this young earth creationist. Eight, uh, some NASA missions have packed fresh fruits, including bananas although they have become less popular because of the odor they produce. In what year did NASA first take bananas into space? Uh, plus or minus two years. Banana beer is a big part of uh, culture of a certain region in the world. It is not known when banana beer was invented but name one of the countries where this beer is consumed or produced, according to Wikipedia. And there's six possible countries that you can name. So if you name any one of those countries, you get the point. Uh, number 10, what famous book describes the banana in this passage? They stop under a clump of bananas, the fruit of which as healthy as bread and as succulent as cream was amply partaken of and appreciated. And there's a bonus. Uh, what percentage of our DNA do we share with bananas? Plus or minus five. And that's it. Any any questions? Clarifications or anything? That would be really funny if you had done number nine as a uh, as a bonus round. <laughs> if we had to name the ten different, but there's not ten. But that would have been a really funny category. All right, good job. I'm glad you didn't do it in Spanish. I don't think I would have done very good at that. But I might have done a little better than everybody else. Good job. Yeah, so we had we had weird fruits and we have bananas. So that's pretty good. All right. Who's sending us? Okay, I gotta I gotta put some people in rooms. So hold on just a second. Yeah, it's inviting me to the wrong room. Mark's in the right room. Faith. No, me. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I don't want to be on a team with Romero anymore. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> I can move myself <laughs> there, I think. To, yeah, okay. So you're in four. Mm -hmm, sadly. And Gail is in two. And I think everything else is done. I'm going to four. Favorite candy. What is it? Circus peanuts. They're banana flavored marshmallows. I was hush, oh. Susan. Go no away. That's right. Oh. I did know that she loves. Circus peanuts. Because we were in a place. It won't bring back my dead grandfather. That's what he tells me every time I eat. <laughs> what? It won't... What? It circus won't... peanuts? Yes. What does that got to do with a dead grandfather? 
because I like to eat circus peanuts and they shared them with my grandfather. And so oh. he's like, it won't bring him back. But the memory and the stuff. Yes. All right. So I'm going to be zero help to you guys here. Here we go. What country is the largest producer of bananas? I guessed Costa Rica, but he mentioned Honduras. Mm. Like, it wouldn't be like Mexico, maybe? <laughs> no. No? I'm just thinking because Mexico is bigger than those other places. Yeah, but Mexico is mostly mountain arid. That's true. Desert. So I would. Yeah, let's go with Costa Rica. Okay. Um, I remember this story, but I don't remember the name of the other. Ban- I remember I used to eat those other bananas. They were really good. I didn't know there was a name for them. A variety. What do you think it was, Deborah? I have no idea. I was I was like seven years old. We just, but you just, have to know, Deborah. They were just bananas. I mean, <laughs> but they were different than the ones that they were tasted better. They were better. Darn it. And then this fungus thing came along and killed them. Um, what was the name of the fungus? You didn't know it. They just said no, you're going to have I, to know the answer. To I have no have idea. The fungus. Name. Fungus banana wilt. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I remember hearing about it. I don't remember any of the details. Let's see. Going on to number four. <laughs> Maybe it was tuberculosis. It could, be, could be a million. It could be two. It could what? be. I was thinking of three. It's it's tuberculosis that killed off everything. Or cholera. <laughs> How would a banana full full? I mean, what would what would be a disease name for a banana? Unless it's a mold. It's a bucket. <laughs> Okay, let's put banana mold. Banana mold. What would it be? Let's how would we know a mold? How would we know a banana illness? Well, because it was kind of famous that it that it, it picked out that other kind of banana. I mean, it. Well, it didn't really, it with you. To, the little the little bananas, you know, the smaller bananas, they have to grow them at, like up at higher altitudes, and they of course can't get as, grow as many of them and stuff. I mean. So in order to have a lot of bananas, they had to find something else that wasn't susceptible to this oh. thing, whatever it was. But I don't know what it was called. Um, I've heard of this banana equivalent dose. Really? Yeah. Isn't it like 10? Is it 10? I don't know the number. Is it 10, 10 BEDs? Well, yeah. he's saying it's who wants a percentage. So I'm no, not... The- what so no, how many B how many BEDs is an average chest CT scan and then plus or minus five percent? So if it was like like you said, if it's like 10 and then what was five percent of that, I don't know. Seems like it would be more than 10 if it's five percent. Go with 50, 50 bananas. Okay. 50 bananas. I was either gonna oh, say hold on, hold on. I was either gonna say a hundred or two hundred and eighty-four thousand. I, I'm, I'm I think it's going to be no much. Idea. Well, I think it's going to be much larger than that because imagine if you walked past the banana section of the grocery store, like ours is pretty big. Like okay. you would be walking past the CT scan dose of radiation, like as you're walking past the bananas in the grocery. Oh my god! I'm walking by the produce again. It's I'm like you can I'm overdosing. The a little little radar thing that comes along. Next to the measures. So, so are we saying 50 or are we saying like 10 or 10,000? I think it'd be like 10,000 bananas. I don't think over 9,000. 9,000 bananas? Yeah, let's go with 9,000. It's over 9,000. It's a meme. It's supposed to know that. Over 9,000. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, is five dole or is it Chiquita? That's I, I well, know. dole, I think, is owed by Chiquita. Chiquita. So dole. The dole. Chiquita banana. And I'm here to say, so is it, is it Dole or is it in the world today? I believe Dole owns Chiquita. So should we say Dole? Dole, Dole yes. Okay, I was going to say Dole. Okay, the banana. Or is it Del Monte? Um, is it Del Monte? Hmm. No, it's Dole. I think, I think Dole owns Del Monte too. Okay. They own everything. Okay, now the banana phone. How are we supposed to know who wrote it? Rafi sings it, but how are we supposed to know who wrote it? Rafi. Or the year. Let's go with Rafi. So I've Rafi. never heard of banana phone. What is that? Ring, I've ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Ding, I've dung, heard dung, of uh, dung, banana, banana phone. 
But I don't uh, know. Buffy, look that up. Buffy has two F's, but nobody cares. I will have to look that um, up. I can always add another F. Who's the creationist? Oh, that is um is that Ken Ham? No. <laughs> No, it's uh, the other nutcase. It's um, I can see the video of him sitting in the lake is in the background, and he's holding a banana, I think, and it says it was the the banana is created perfectly for the hand. It looks oh, like it's the guy up in Washington in the Discovery Center, or whatever that thing is called. No, he's he's not one of the name off some creationists. It's not the Australian Ken Ham. It's um. Hmm. As soon as you say it, I'll go. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Um, Me mentally go through the alphabet until you get a yes. A B C. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't it start with an? W? It is. It's like a little mental Rolodex. Isn't it like West? West. I don't think it's West. Hmm. I know this one. Let's come back. Number eight. I remember this story, but I don't yeah. know. Um, NASA. Oh. And Paul Offit's name is popping in my head, but I know that's not it. <laughs> I don't know why. You haven't talked about him. I know. It's an old me. It's an old story that's been going around for a long time. Shoot. What is his name? Okay, this let's go. A... Let's let's try eight. other ones. 78. Yeah. 78. So fairly recently. For eight, number eight. All right, 1978. Or do you think it's earlier than that? I was thinking like in the like oh. in the late 60s, early 70s, but okay. I have no reason to back that up at all. Let's you don't go know with your banana and NASA history? 1970? Yeah. Wait, wait, okay. did they ever send a monkey into space? Maybe they sent a banana with the monkey. Well, I they doubt they the sent it with no. banana skin. It's that not way too much. Thing. Okay, now number nine is in Africa, and I believe they refer to banana beer in uh, that movie about Rwanda. Rwanda. So I've never I, heard of banana beer. It's in Africa. Never so heard of Rwanda banana Rwanda beer. So is it Rwanda. I could be getting it mixed up in a movie about Uganda, but I think it's Rwanda. Rwanda. Was it about a hotel? But you know, I mean, I know which movie was about the hotel, but I could be getting the movies mixed up. Okay. Because I remember thinking, there's banana beer? <laughs> Which was an inappropriate thought for all the well, violence that was there's, going on. There's six choices, so Rwanda could easily be it. Okay. Rwanda. My guess was Costa Rica, but... Another Costa Rica? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I it's, in, it's in Africa. It, it, Africa. I'm but pretty that's... sure. I was this from the person who gave you uh, Ramatan instead of lychee. Yeah, so what... <laughs> Who stopped under a cup of clump of bananas? Sounds familiar. Buddha? No. It wasn't Darwin. The Bible. Was Is it from the Bible? I don't think so. Okay, the banana in this passage. They stopped under a clump of bananas, the fruit of which is healthy as bread and is succulent. Could it be in the Book of Mormon? They didn't have, they weren't anywhere near any bananas. Well, they, <laughs> Buddha, they reality bananas. is not. What about the Buddha? So, um, so, um, what, was so, what's, what was the Buddha? Siddhartha? Garth, Siddhartha? No? Let's go with that. Siddhartha? It's either him or um, the former dictator of Nicaragua. Che Guevara? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is from Moby Dick. The guy with the bad skin. <laughs> uh, you know, it sounds familiar. And don't we too. share ninety-eight percent of our DNA with a banana? Something like that. Oh, wait a yeah. minute! Wait a minute! Is there any? Is there a famous thing about someone who's like stuck on a desert island? No, no. Somebody traveling. They they stop. They stopped. Oh, it's not. Oh, they stopped. Where would the bananas have been? Let's start there. Not Siddhartha, unless Siddhartha is fluid gender. And it can't be 90, <laughs> 98, 95, because we've got plus or minus five. All right, let's go with 95. I mean, that's just we stop. Like, where? Where are we going with 95? Bonus. Stop. Oh, all right. Bonus. This is 98, but. Gosh, who, is the, who is the creationist person? His name Paul, Peter, Ben. 
James, John, Richard, John, Luke, Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Gregory. Um, Michael, Gregory, Matthew. What if 10 is the Bible, the the Israelites or something? No, do they have bananas? I don't think they have bananas. Okay. (laughs) They're more of a modern creation. Now, where did bananas originate? But where are they native? We don't know. We apparently don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, I would, I would have the answer, but I'm thinking of uh, the creationists. So uh, I can't, yeah, my no, mind can only calculate thank one thing you, at a time. Thank you, Susan. Oh Let's God. just put the Bible. The Bible for the bananas? Okay. I mean, I would have Moses out in the desert walking around. <laughs> I don't part. know. Um, God, I re- he wears glasses, doesn't he? Ooh, oh, okay. oh, oh, Ray Comfort. Ray Comfort. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's yeah. it. Where did you pull that out of your banana? I don't know. Out of my Susan, ass. And Susan, I- it does work. If you go through the alphabet, we kind of go R, R. What's it? What's it? No, if, if you had, when you guys were naming men's names, that was, that was better. But you're uh, naming them too fast. I couldn't think of it. But yeah, it's Ray Comfort. God. That, I'm glad you got it. name is that. Comfort. Well, it's perfect. It's, well, I don't proves, think the book is, it proves there is no, there is a God. I don't think the book is the Bible because Ray Comfort would talk about how bananas were talked about in the Bible. This is true. What did we put for two? Nothing. What is, oh. Yeah, what's the, we don't know the name the of the banana name. variety. Or the yellow. Zombies. Yellow. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. What about the Costa Rican gold? Costa Rican gold? That's the name of the yeah. banana now? Okay. <laughs> Damn, the it ought to be called. Ten. Right? ten is pissed me off. Okay, let me think. Um, okay, famous books. Think of some famous books that took place where there might be bananas. Moby Dick. No. Um, <laughs> the, the Jungle Books. <gasps> the Jungle um, Book. Yeah, let's do that. The Jungle Book, yes. Good guess. I'm just trying to think of who would have described them that way, too. Well, because they, about, well, it, it's like people are stranded Robinson? and they're looking for uh, food. Yeah, they, could, they could be talking about when he was, um, whatever the Monkey King was. The, right. Was Monkey King? Man. Oh, yeah, well, remember book? when Mowgli gets attracted by the, the monkey? People? No, the Jungle Book would never be written like that. It was amply partaken of and appreciated. No well, way. That's, what I've, that's a, it's a, it's very sounds very British to me. Well, that's why I'm thinking it's Swiss Family Robinson. Oh, but, but they didn't have walk a family around. of religion, Swiss, and it's Swiss a Family day. Robinson didn't walk around. They just like they just they just landed. Oh, it could be the the journey to the middle of the center. earth. Center of the earth. We're going Jules Verne now. Hmm. Well, see, I think it's more likely. It sounds British and old and kind of got a little bit of a religious kind of. What, what about Planet of the Apes? <laughs> <laughs> On the road by there would be no, the If the apes rule the earth, monkeys rule the earth, there would be no bananas anywhere. I don't think that this has to have any religious. But it could feels be like road. the way it says it's amply partaken of and appreciated. It could be the road by Cormac McCarthy. I haven't read that. <laughs> it well, is this one of sounds familiar, you guys. How about um? How uh, what's his name? Harry Potter. <laughs> no, it is definitely not Harry. They Potter. did not have any bananas in in Harry Potter land. We do not know that. <laughs> okay. okay, let me. Or- can you tell say the uh, answers please okay um for one we have costa rica uh-huh. uh for two we have costa rican gold and three we have banana mold <laughs> i think it's more like something like fusarium wilt but i don't know well how, um, would, how would we know that i don't know um the um uh, the, the nine thousand <laughs> yeah the chest actually gives you Over nine thousand geds uh dole had the banana business had the banana business um rafi wrote the banana phone song 
Ray Comfort. I think that's the one we're only one we're sure we got right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, NASA sent bananas up in 1970 for some weird reason, and banana beer was in, was either invented or consumed in Rwanda. And the book right now we have the Jungle Book, and the DNA we share with bananas is 95 percent. We Tarzan. Okay, oh. do you want to write that fancy name that you just said, Deborah, instead of banana mold? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, write it. All right. I yeah, do you want to write it? I don't know how to spell it either. But All right, we're, um, we're done. Well, we're. I we're think I'm going to sing banana mold. Banana mold. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't know. Fix it with Windex. <laughs> Who's Syrian <Yeah>. Wilt? <laughs> <laughs> it's something like that. That's close enough. It, that's a real thing. I'm okay. upset about 10 again. Um, I'm upset about 10 also. We got to think of some more books. Um, the Lion it's King. Moby Dick. Lion Fuck King. Moby Dick. What is no, I, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Isn't that an adult, <laughs> adult movie? Fuck Moby, Moby Dick. Dick. <laughs> no, I think it's Swiss Family Robinson or it is. Well, Swiss Family Robinson is better than The Jungle Book. Okay. okay. Or it's Gulliver's Travels or oh. it's um clash of the titans <laughs> <laughs> or it could be the looking glass alice looks at uh, alice wonderland no i don't know like i think it's the i think it's the voyage of the beagle <laughs> no or it could be between I know how Romero is keeping a straight face to this <laughs> what about treasure island treasure, Ooh, treasure island. island's good no, I see King Kong. King, don't you think that he would give us a clue that, that, that it's integral to the boat the book? Like they're traveling, they're they're stranded or something, they're traveling. They Jules stop. Verne is one of his favorite writers. They had no food. Didn't he do Swiss Family Robinson? No. Okay, I'm telling you, it's journey to the center of the earth. What if it was around the world in 80 days? No. <laughs> I don't think that was a book. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was. it was. Of course it was. Oh, I just saw the movie. I didn't. Jules, the movie. Jules Verne. Well, yeah, Jules Verne book. is one of his. It, Jules Verne is like his favorite. Well, writer. He did twenty thousand okay, feet under the sea. What else? Oh yeah, with the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did do Pirates of the. Uh, what was the? It's 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 the mysterious island. But no, I don't think anybody's ever read one? it but me. No, I swear I've heard of this. Pirates well, of Penzance. No, no. It was one of, it was Book a, of Mormon. Like, it treasure, it was Book Treasure of Mormon. Island. Treasure, treasure Island? Island? No, yeah. that's Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay. Do you like Robert Louis Stevenson, Ramiro? Oh, well, maybe. Do you want to put maybe. Journey to the Center of the Earth? Because didn't he write that? Yeah. yeah. So let's and, put Journey to the Center of the Earth. In okay. Sydney. And well, that makes sense. <laughs> they, it's a they, it's British sounding, and they were, and there probably were banana trees. And they were, I'm sure there's bananas in the center. Okay, of the so we went through the Bible, the Jungle Book, Swiss Family Robinson, Moby <laughs> Dick about 10 times, and then Journey <laughs> to the Center of the Earth. Hey, we had Gulliver's Travels, yeah. and we had Tarzan. Oh, oh, don't forget Siddhartha. And Siddhartha. <laughs> we, we've, we've hit it. So if any of those hit, yeah, we, we did a rule 34 <laughs> almost. I, I would be shocked if one of these is. We did a rule 34 movie. almost with Moby Dick starring Ray Comfort. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no. Okay, quarter, uh, Costa Rican gold. Ray Comfort gets for Syrian wilt. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the center of the earth. That's the well, Moby he was Dick. taking the journey to the center of the earth. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, it's kind of like boot rod or whatever you get when yeah. you're walking around and don't change your shoes. Music and... by Rafi. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, there was a and score. It's like, yeah, this, is, this is a porn theme. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know there was a mystery theme? Um, Rule 34 with bananas. Romero, <laughs> did you know you had a porn theme? Mm. Over 9,000. <laughs> Oh, no idea. Good job. Good job. I'm, I'm going to channel Paula and say that's what she said. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to touch your nose and say a color. And the person who says it last, it has to make a sex noise. <laughs> oh, Where do you get these? That's a sterling Tommy. I've played that game before. <laughs> oh.
I was waiting for Faith to all of a sudden log in, and the last part of her sentence was a sex. Saved, <laughs> saved by the bell or something. But it's muted, what? so you wouldn't have covered. What was my sentence? But <laughs> you were talking when the when the room threw us out, and I said you have to say a sex noise. You have to make a sex noise. <laughs> I thought you were going to go. You ring, ring, ring. Sex noise right as right as we came back. Yeah. And that one really Your good. banana phone is ringing. <laughs> 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 we did turn we were making sex jokes about this category you thought it was a mystery <laughs> theme romero oh my god we had too much it fun probably got zero points but it is it's fun. the mystery <laughs> theme <laughs> oh by the <laughs> by <laughs> mystery oh I, yeah I just, I just googled number seven and uh, i didn't know this richard dawkins actually gave him the name banana man <laughs> well, we you didn't remember know. seven Oh, we that's determined and the only the one we're sure we have the answer for it. Yeah. yeah yeah i knew that one off the bat barely got it though. but i didn't minute. i didn't know that it was a specific person uh, yeah uh, richard dawkins He's named him there on the lake with his no banana. no i mean richard dawkins did you hear me richard dawkins gave him that that name banana man yeah yeah, yeah robert <laughs> i really think you need to decongest him <laughs> hmm. it's, it's, it's decongest air in florida look how smoggy it is behind him it's noon <laughs> <sighs> Look at all that <laughs> brown air. Okay. Should we go right. for the answers? We go yes. with the answers. Okay. All right. For for number one uh, country that produces the most bananas is uh, India. Oh, what? We didn't even oh, guess that. Wrong That's not side right. of the planet. They they don't export the most bananas. So Ecuador is the country that exports the most bananas, but but they produce India them. produces. The they most eat them all themselves. Yeah. Uh, number two is the uh, Gros Michel banana. If you don't know how to pronounce it. Oh yes, we have the Salen G. Yes, good. <laughs> no idea. Deborah said she knew the answer, but she was seven. <laughs> no, no, the number three. She well, seven and three. Oh, I oh. mean, uh, question two and three. She remembers this from when she was seven, but. She doesn't remember. I don't know. I remember the other banana. And then I remember later they other the bananas came along and said, why are these bananas not as good? And then I found mm -hmm. out why. But you don't remember the answer. Yeah. But I don't remember that. I didn't bother remembering the name. Okay. Uh, it's Panama. It's called Panama disease. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. Figures. Fine. And then uh, for uh, number four is... 70,000 70, BEDs. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> so we, put, hey, we put over 9,000. <laughs> Was it thousands. plus or minus? And you want 500. the 5%. Yeah. I, I don't yeah, so think that's thousand. reasonable, um, Romero. Sure. There's going to be a huge range Seriously. of uh, know, yeah. amount of radiation that's the answer he put. In, in, a, uh, in, in a chest CT. Okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing, that it, 5% was probably just not reasonable. No. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's not. Um, <laughs> and did anyone say, get that? Oh. Well, let's say no. everybody who put anything over 9,000 9, or more gets it. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did anyone order a magnitude? Well, but who's the closest gets it? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Well, well, that would be us. Price is right rules without going over. <laughs> over 9,000. That's us. We had 60,000. Oh. 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 Then forget that. I don't like that. <laughs> <Nobody gets it. laughs> Lenny actually said it's How about like we go with whatever rule benefits my team? <laughs> no. No one Romero gets a point chewing on. Moving Romero on. Moving on. He's moving on. Uh, That's the answer. Number five. So number five, uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for the next time I do a category. 5% is too tricky. Yeah, uh, number 95% five, would be good. <laughs> number five uh united fruit company was the oh, thank you, Jenny. oh no oh. wow i've gotten three answers tonight i'm wow. excited well we had fruit questions there you go and then uh number six uh the author is rafi nicely done alan nicely done alan Alan knows yeah. the banana phone song. Yeah. Abby used to listen to it. He's a musician, of course. Abby oh. used to listen to it. Oh, that we're going to have to learn Abby. it when Abby comes Never back. Never heard it. I got to look it up. Yeah. 
And uh, number seven, the guy is uh, Ray Comfort. Yay. Yay. Here's a, here's a picture uh, of me with Ray. Uh, are you holding a banana? What? No. He uh, could be. You don't know. You don't see the you rest of it. You don't want to be doing <laughs> this. I, I, I promise I was not holding a banana. <laughs> There was there was there were no bananas no being banana held. Being held. <laughs> by you. Yeah, by you. It slipped out of his hands. All right, we shall have to, we have to hear the background of that, Leonard, later. Yes. Yeah. All right, number eight. Uh, it was 1983. Oh, oh, wow. Good. We got that dead on. Dead on. We said 83 because it covered 81 yep. to 85. Wow. <laughs> That's exactly why I did it. Figured it had to be Space Shuttle. Uh, I thought yeah. it might have been Skylab. Uh, you'd have to take uh, it up in an Apollo capsule, though. Mm -hmm. They didn't have enough room. <laughs> Number nine. Uh, so it's it was difficult to find you know, all the countries where this banana beer is produced, and it's actually made from bananas. Uh, but the Wikipedia article had these countries, so I was talking about these Bummer. countries. We have a point. Uh, oh, we, we said Kenya, but we, we didn't settle we on changed, it. We changed it. Nope. Sorry, Thank Alan. You. Jamaica yeah. or something, right? Yeah, we said yeah. Jamaica. We said so Jamaica, man. Stupid song. Jamaica, me free. Jamaica, man. I missed the Taliban. Taliban, yeah. banana. And then uh, the banana. Uh, description in that book uh, is uh, around the world in 80 days. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You did say it. Oh. You did say it. Guys, did say it. Who told you that's his almost every book. I brought it up. <laughs> I brought it up. We just we just we, met with the journey. And that's his favorite book. I'm going to hurt you, Romero. You're sleeping. How many on. books did we name? We named like seven or eight books. <laughs> we just did you settle two. for another Jules Verne book? <laughs> We said we've settled on the center to the earth. So at least we got Jay, we got Jules Verne. Yeah, I mean this I think this I think introduced that's great. bananas into Europe as a concept, and then they started becoming popular after that. Oh. And then did anybody the get that one, question right? Yeah. Around the world. Carl. Yeah. Carl, Carl. Had, Carl knew. Well, of course Carl got it. <laughs> and uh the bonus, uh, so this one is. You know, it depends. It's tricky. It was just interesting. So, uh, somebody did a calculation, probably around twenty-five percent. If depending on you know how you define similar, but um, I think there's a, a meme going around that we have we share fifty percent of our DNA, and you know that's too much. Right. 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 Uh, uh, no, it, it no, it isn't. Because. <laughs> Um, Donald Trump has a hundred percent. That's why he's so slippery. <laughs> Bananas. That's the I second mean, time I heard that joke, and I know it's, still and it's funny. just as bad. I know it's still fun. No, it's still funny. It's funny. I don't get it. I'm glad you like it. I almost did a category in bananas. I started to write it year years ago, years and years ago for this, even though we've been playing three years, and I could not come up with more than five. Name the four banana splits. A very good, Romero. I could not. Someday I will do my banana questions. Yes. Oh, it's for me. I'm up. I need to give you the scores. Dun, 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 dun. It's sort of close. Yeah. Let's uh, see how well we do with our bananas. So, Team Normal. How well I'm do counting, you bananas? I'm counting four. <laughs> four. Count. That's what I got. Four. Okay. Is asking for a pardon and admission of guilt? I'm asking for some friends. Seven. Oh, wow. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. We Three. like inflation when it comes to our score. Three. It's Susan's fault. Six. Ooh. And the team that I was on and Romero was on. Wait, wait, wait. Six? No, that was somebody else. Oh, oh, wait. Sorry, I thought I heard face voice. No, no we're in no. detached from and, Harry, and I'm not happy that Carl is in the lead now, Romero. This is all your fault. <laughs> three. How many yet? We got yeah, three. three. We're right behind you, Carl. What? Don't worry, what? Carl's not in the lead now. 
No. Carl okay, has no, other no, no. people on his team. Yeah. Well, Leonard, please kick Carl's ass. Uh, for the bonus good. round, it's just going to be me and Gail. All right. You are not allowed. In to other go. words, it's going to be Carl. Larry, Larry hey, is going to attend. Hey, I am on the. I'm on the bonus team too. I heard what they said. You don't count as a person, Susan. <laughs> What about it's company, honesty, corporation? You're, you're a gargoyle. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, so it's it's kind of close, sort of, for a few. Sure, teams. it is for a few teams. All right, so our last category is a bonus, and we will know who it is, the final winner, and it's all going to hinge <laughs> on what Jamie does here. Okay, is everybody ready? Maybe. And Jamie, do yeah. I have to fling you from room to room? I think I do, don't I? Yeah, I have an iPad, so it doesn't do anything. Okay, so I have a fling. <laughs> That's okay. a great commercial for the iPad. Does it have something <laughs> to do with fruit? No, it has to do with, um, almost, it has to do with currency, world currency. Okay. Okay, so, hey, it's in chat. So the United States is not the only country that uses dollars as its official currency. 38, 38 independent countries also either use the US dollar as money or they use their own version of their own dollar. So other than the USA and its territories, name 10 out of the 38 countries that use dollars. Use dollars as their official number one currency? Yep, or, their money's or, called, like the country of Kumbaga. Okay, with, they without Kumbaga giving anything dollars. away. There's a country have, called that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Without giving anything away in my question here, are no. only countries so, acceptable for answers or are other things that have their own currency also useful? Um, those countries that their currency are called dollars, like Kubanga dollars. Would what be what if there is some place that is not a country, but it has a currency of its own? It has to be an independent country, but not a territory. For example, like okay. Puerto Rico. Okay. Like Puerto Rico is not accepted because it's a territory. Yeah, but, so it's an independent yeah, but, but they don't have their that, own currency. But that's yeah, fine. So, I accept your answer. All right. Okay, so we, will, we will just go with it. Okay. We'll find so this is why Jamie dollars. was talking about currency whenever we first got on today. Now it's we a, should yeah, yeah. Just a coincidence. So they use either country that use either the US dollar um, officially or they officially use their own version, what they call their, their own, own dollar. Called so do they call it a dollar in English or do they call it a dollar in their language? And how do no, it's, called a, it's called a dollar in English. Okay. So so they said, have... Even if the whole other language is some other completely other language, but when they oh. say the number oh, in right. their language, like, you know, boogadoo means 22, <laughs> but they say dollar at the end of that. And that's oh, oh, I can't wait. I'm opening the rooms. And, and no. does it have to have the same value? Like, no, no different values, no. different, different values. You guys are overthinking yeah. this. Okay. It's just a name. It's just a name. Countries that use countries that use, that have versions of dollars, or they use the U.S. dollar officially. Either one. Okay. Okay. Good luck. We're gonna need it. Okay. It's the doll. Hello, team. Australia and Canada. Vincent did stay. Australia, Canada, yeah. Who's keeping track? I shared the screen so I can put the answers on or what? And I don't... Yeah, you kind of yeah, need well, to have somebody listen. Okay, I'll do that then. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tapped out. Well, I know okay. Australia. <clears throat> New Zealand? New Zealand? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Rwanda? <laughs> I just guess. I'm, no, I'm kidding. No? Okay. Well, I was going to put it, but That's any funny. country we know it's not. Just any country we don't know what it is, we, you know, if we know it's not dollars, don't do that. But any other country that it might be after Australia and Canada, I don't know. It's late. Okay. 
they so these are places that could use the American dollar. So they could be well, either one, either, yeah, either they could either use the US dollar officially or they have their own version of the dollar. Yeah, they either one. Or they call it a dollar, either one. There's like 11 countries that use US dollars as their own currency. Yeah, so we we probably know these, you guys. Where would you go that's not America that you could use your US dollars as the main currency? Costa Rica. Jamaica. No, that's British, right? Yeah, I think so. American Samoa. No, that's a terror. I think that's a territory. Uh, U.S. Virgin Islands. Guam. 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 That, that's a ter That's a territory. You better go, Jamie. You're helping us. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're helping us. Yeah. And we're recording that you're helping us. Oh, no territories. Um. Don't how about you have, don't you have to send him, Susan? No. Oh, I do have to fling him. You're absolutely yeah. right. Okay. okay. I'm a Navy. Good, luck. Good one. Good luck. How Thank about Fiji? Fiji mermaids. Uh, where are you in here? Somewhere. There's, is that Jamie? Why oh, it's Jane. I almost flung. I almost flung Jane. Jane. Oh, you, you someone else? Oh. You put no, I almost did. Okay, remind me in a minute to fling him somewhere else. Um, any other ideas? CG. CG? Sure. How about Singapore? I don't know. I'm just pulling these out of my hat. I don't know. You got a hat? <laughs> out of your shoe. Yeah, I'll get my shoe. Um, Hong Kong? No. Um. Yes, they, oh, uh, no, they use the pounds, British pounds. Yeah, it's a British, yeah. it was a British. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Not anymore. Right. Mexico? No, they Pesos. use peso. Oh, they use peso. Okay, let's go to continents. I, I think they're small islands or countries, you know, like maybe Liechtenstein or something, or um, Morocco or. Yeah, no, not old. Wouldn't be old established countries. It would be. Yeah. Uh, any, any country that existed before the United States. Yeah, you're right. Probably you know, became something wouldn't. Yeah, they wouldn't retroactively go. Oh, let's use dollars. Oh, use our. So Guam is a good guess. The Philippines. Yeah. Guam is a territory, though. Mm. How about it the is. Philippines? Okay. Mm, maybe, but I don't know. They've actually been around for a while. I don't think they. And they were owned by Spain, right? Yeah. South Korea. They or Vietnam? Used the, they used North the, Korea? Uh, no, North Korea would never use the dollars. South Korea? South Korea. How about Nepal? <laughs> um, Kashmir. Burma. 
I'm trying to think of things that just recently changed names. God, this is a hard category. Room two is already done. How about South South Africa? Sugar rounds. I don't know. <laughs> just these are just wild guesses. I don't know. I'm just putting them down. I, you know. Now, Nepal and how about Libya? Didn't they become a country? You know, at, um, about the time America was starting to be formed. How about Dubai? Liberia, that's what I'm thinking of, right? Dubai. Yeah, it was kind of a American project, wasn't it? Liberia, yeah. This is going to be some obscure countries. How much you want to bet? <laughs> this is like those damn. Time zone. Time zone. Is <laughs> the chicken on your head? I'm never heard of that. Looks like the chickens in the mouth of the dinosaur. Yeah, they kind of disappear. They, they look like they're floating in air. It looks like it's floating in the chicken in the dinosaur's mouth. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing underneath them, right? Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, because they're really the small pillow, on my screen. The pillow is the same color as the background, is the green oh. screen. So it filters them out. It, it, it filters it out and just, they're by my head. So they're an extension of my head. So, but if I move, they'll, fl they'll flicker out of existence. Well, do we have 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, more. Yeah. more. We have to. The 13. We have to weed them out. So let's take out. Burma. Why do we have to weed them out? Because we can't have more than 10. Otherwise, we just put every country in the world on it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I agree with Burma. Um, and Nepal. Probably take Burma and Nepal out, yeah. Okay. And probably the Philippines. Because they're Spain. Philippines, take that out. Okay. And I guess this is as good as we got. We'll go with those. Okay. I'm asking you. I. <sighs> it's a shot in the dark. Let's see how we're doing on scores for this team. 27, you know. Not too well. Well, no, that's close i mean the the lead is at 30. so if they screw up and you guys do well <laughs> well <laughs> no idea you're optimistic susan no no i'm just been playing this for I, a while I, I i think i average about third place Oh, is that where you think you fall yeah, in? Yeah, on average, yeah, on average, there was so often we're second, and then maybe I'll, maybe we'll win every so often. But I think my, I, I average right around third. Well, it looks like uh, Carl's team is not going to win this time, but it's very close, so this should be interesting. Yeah. Well, Susan, while I have you in our room, just to remind you, I'll be gone yeah. the next three weeks. Oh, you're on tour, aren't you? Yeah, I'm leaving Sunday. Okay, we'll check in if you want. Oh, there's two chickens. Yeah, they're, they're sitting next to each other. Well, I hope uh, Jamie takes some good photos. They, um, they'll, sleep, they'll sleep up here. I'll leave them here and they'll sleep here all night. And then I'll come down and I'll put them in their box so they can get a food and water. They look so cute just floating in the dinosaur's mouth right there. All right. <laughs>
Good job, team. Crazy. Uh, wait, I want to take a picture. Could you put the screenshot back up? I just want to take a picture of it so I can see what it is when he's reading them off. Vince? What? Can you put the screenshot of what oh. we decided? Just real quick so I can take a picture of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. When he's reading them off, I can see if ours are on there. Hey, what's okay. Dubia? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, good. Dubai. Is that even a country? It's Dubai. 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 Okay. It's I, we know. Did I spell that wrong? I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. Uh, as long as you know what you meant, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. I should have been paying better attention. You just spell things all crazy so that if it's, you know. Um. Right now, I don't. I. I. I don't work right now. Romero, did you get in your room? I just saw that you weren't in your room. I I, I am an IT oh. systems engineer guy. No, but we we're done. So I mean, I, I think we're. I good. figured it was something in that in that kind of category. Yeah, we we finished. Okay. okay. At some point, I should probably go back to work. I'm I'm sort of retired, but I'm I'm saying the same thing too. I don't like the way the economy is right now. It's scary. Oh geez, I yeah, I don't even want to look at how much of a hit by portfolio is taking. well mine mine thankfully has uh it's conservative it has a lip so it can't go beyond a certain amount so it doesn't earn interest you have right an annuity now. contract no it's um i don't know what it's called don't ask me these things all i know is that it can't go below a certain percent so that's usually some sort of annuity contract mm -hmm. Unless, unless, unless you have got an equity collar set on some stocks. You're speaking German to me, or you to have any, French. You have any split strike trades? Doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> you're speaking very you're unlike speaking Greek. So I stayed up. And then Look at you. Yeah. An equity you're, collar you're is a combination, a combination of call and put options on a stock that limit the downside but also limit the upside. Oh, too bad you're muted, Carl. <laughs> hey, look, I found this little button on the lower left corner of my screen. <laughs> oh, too bad you're being thrown out. <laughs> so thank you, Susan, for flinging me from place to place. Was that more fun? I love flinging you. That was a lot. Yeah. That makes me laugh, even though I don't get to see what you're doing. But I can envision <laughs> in my mind that he's in mid-sentence. <laughs> hey uh congratulations uh susan because this 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 uh this round tonight's gone by really fast i mean we're, we're i was on at this time because we, yeah. yeah, we were really hot yeah yeah mm -hmm. we we're you know well you guys did eight. questions really fast this time too so you're getting better at susan, keeping in your mind the, the time. did you put that link for the conference back in the in the chat i haven't registered and i want to skip to calicon yeah and of course, you're coming to Psycon. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, Gail? What is it? Psycon in October in Vegas. Of course, isn't oh, it? I know October? that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I okay. moved to Vegas because of because of Tan. Oh. The reason I moved, I wanted to retire to someplace warm. And I, oh, I hated Los Angeles well, I came here in the 70s, so I wasn't it. going to come here. But I came every year to go to Tan. And I decided if I liked Las Vegas in August, I'd love it in January. So I moved oh. here. And the year after I moved here, they ended TAM. <laughs> Unfortunately, PyCon took its place. Thank goodness. Yeah, not, not quite in the same time of year, but close. And it, well, it's a better time of year for a conference. Oh, but the weather there is awful. <laughs> Which it really was a couple of days this last week. Uh -huh. Which went up to 110. Yeah. Ugh. That's a little, that's a little, uh, little toasty. Oh, it's over 40 degrees Celsius. That's warm. I would die if I was in that. It's so like, that's, it's like that's what air conditioning is for. Yeah, that's like exactly six. right. Sick. You'd die if you had to live outdoors in, in New York, too. Are you guys ready to talk about the answers? Yeah, we were just talking about ready. how we're doing so good with our time, and here we're. <laughs> <laughs> I know, please. I'm gonna get up tomorrow. Look at okay. 54. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, Jane. Oh. Yep. 
Oh, one second. Oh. Mine okay, is um, 56 here in Salinas. 57 it's here in Paulo. It's amazing where we live. It's amazing, which is why it's so expensive um, to live here. You talking about the temperature? Yep. yep. Right now at, at 11.30, it's 87 degrees in St. Louis. Ouch. Jeez. It's cold. It's cold here. It's 15. I think <laughs> it's 51. Go ahead, Jamie. Take over before we have to have everybody yeah. tell us. Yeah. Yeah. We, have 70, we have 75 in Chicago. 52 wow. here. It's like 90 here. Over 9,000 okay. here. Okay, great. In, in New Jersey, okay. tomorrow the high is going to be 92, and the very next day the high is only going to be 65. That's just insane. And what's the wordle wow. day? What's the wordle of the day? Here. Can't tell you. <laughs> I just checked. It's 93 degrees here now because it's nighttime, so it's cooled off. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, save us. Okay, <laughs> let me give the answers. Okay, Thank first. You. Okay, do I? Can you see me? Okay, so some of these I'll show you, and then I'll give you a list on chat. But oh, I have a okay. few of them that you can you. see. Okay, so that's Australia. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's very small. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, that's Australia, number one. Number two, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Yay, I got one. Isn't that right. beautiful? Yeah, These are, um, the money's plastic. A lot of these countries are plastic. Their money is so pretty. I love beautiful? their money. So pretty. Uh, number three is Hong Kong. Oh. I said Hong Kong, but we didn't yeah. put it down on our list. So that's Hong Kong. Oops. Wait, is is that current? They did not change when they went back to China ownership. No, they still have the Hong Kong dollar. Wow. Yeah, they still have it. It's still yeah. a very widely traded on the international wow. currency market. Yeah. Next one is this is Singapore. Yay! Uh, okay. We got it. I was going to say Singapore. We got it. Okay, that's Singapore. Next one is um, Brunei. Oh, mm. is that the Sultan? Yeah, Brunei is the weirdest country we've ever been in. It's the but bizarre. It's a weird, weird country. What's bizarre about it, Jamie? Um, it's very small. Most of the population live in small huts uh, which, on stilts in the ocean. What's the name of and it again? Brunei. Hey, spot. B R U N E I. Have you been to Bhutan? Have you have you been to Bhutan? No, we've been to Nepal, but we didn't get to we didn't because they didn't said I just saw, I saw today that it says the happiest place in the world, maybe happier than uh, than Disney World even. But but <laughs> but, but they live in these huts. That's why it was weird. Well, the biggest thing is it's a sultanate, which is um, run by Sharia law. So in this city, um, what they, what happened was years ago, a husband and wife were found kissing in public which was against Sharia law. So what they did was in the middle of the city, they dug a pit and they threw the husband and wife in the pit and starved them to death. Ah! And what they did, so they killed them and they kept the bodies there. And what they did was they put a fence around it and made it a national memorial, basically as a warning to people to obey Sharia law. Otherwise this will happen to you. <gasps> it's a bizarre, so it's a, it's a salty I would never go there. So, no. so that, that's on our list of 35 uh, Islamic State countries that if people chat from us, they have to be on a VPN or we won't talk to them. Brunei. Yeah. It's a yeah, weird. There. It's, but yeah. it's a very bizarre. But they have, I would everyone, never but, feel safe going. Yeah, no. I, I would be afraid I'd do something. Why, you just don't, don't go with your husbands. We're yeah. women. Don't go with your husbands. And if you're kissing somebody, just don't kiss your husband. Right. But there's no, <laughs> there's no tourism. When we were there, it's in between Malaysia and Indonesia. And nobody goes. We were the only tourists. We're walking around Brunei. And there's nobody. This is way before COVID. There's no tourists. Tourists don't go to Brunei because it's a weird, it's a strange, weird little place. It's weird. So, oh, 400,000 people live there. It's a weird, um, but the Sultan, he's the, oh what, I think the, one of the wealthiest men on earth. And so the, the temples, his mosque, his museums, he's so wealthy. But the city, the country itself is kind of like run down and kind of dumpy. But, um, but people love the Sultan because they give free health care, free education, free food. 
you know, there's no starvation. There's no um, unless you kiss your husband. Unless you kiss your husband. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. So we have like, more food okay. for everybody else. Very interesting. I got the <laughs> pull up the page of later. Can you see that? Yeah. What is it? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Mm. This is um. This is the world. <laughs> A trillion dollars. Hundred trillion dollars. Hundred trillion. <laughs> That's a little teeny tiny dollar. Richard Saunders has a few of those. Holy crap! This is the it's the world. This is the world's biggest denomination bill ever in history. What's and it worth, in, American? Well, in two thousand and eight, this bill came out. A hundred trillion dollars was worth fifty cents. For <laughs> that was only for about two weeks. After two weeks, it became worthless. So uh, then. However. That piece when of we, paper is worth quite a bit of money. Yeah, Very now it is. It is. But when we went there, um, people had um, piles. They were carrying around piles of these hundred thousand, hundred trillion dollar bills, and they were worthless, and they abandoned. So now the money doesn't exist anymore. But hmm. okay, let me um, put in chat Veneer. the answers. Okay. Richard Saunders has converted hundreds and hundreds of dollars of collectible notes into origami. He said, he, what was one of them you saying? Still. That the money is actually now worth something. Yeah. Yeah, something. And Jamie, you'll also read them as well for the benefit of those listening to the recording, right? Is it, yeah. I'm so good at this. We're going to put her in charge. Yeah, because, you know, uh, our, uh, our vast audience really Carl, appreciate it. from Canada. That. That's right. Canadian, eh? Vast. I have a bunch of money, too. I haven't looked at it. Vast audience. <laughs> You can't use any of the old. Okay, uh, so, so the countries that use um, either American dollars or their own currency, Antigua and Barbuda, oh, Cayman Australia, Duh. Yep, Australia, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bermuda, Brunei, Beauty Canada, <sighs> Canada, Cayman Islands, Dominica, East Timor uses American dollars. Ecuador is US dollars. El Salvador is US dollars. Fiji, Grenada, Guyana, Hong Kong, Jamaica, Kiribati, Liberia, the Marshall Islands uses US dollars. Micronesia is US. Namibia, um, Nauru, which is the Pacific, New Zealand, Palau, Panama, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Singapore. Well, can't Solomon forget Island, the Grenadines. And the Grand, yeah, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. Oh. Singapore, Solomon Islands, Suriname, Taiwan, Trinidad and Tobago, Turks and Caicos, Tuvalu, which is in the Pacific, and Zimbabwe had changed to only US dollars also. Yeah, by going with the U.S. dollar, you avoid the hyperinflation thing. Yeah, right after this hundred trillion dollar bill was made, a few, they had no currency for like two years. So what did they do? Put, uh, nothing. They traded pencils when we were there. <laughs> they were, they were well, like they were in the game Fallout. <laughs> yeah. Like it's how many pencils would it take to buy a car? Well, years ago Why in the 1980s, bottle cap. Yeah, but they used pencil in Zimbabwe. In Romania, we were in Romania in the 80s. Their money was um, were Kent cigarettes. That's, and that's prison how, money. Yeah, yeah, that's what prison. they used. Packs of Kent cigarettes for Here's years. In Romania. Question, Jamie. Get through borders, customs in the borders. If you would give away a ballpoint pen. Is Dominica yeah. the Dominic <laughs> Is Dominica the Dominican Republic? No, totally different. Dominica is a very small little island. Nope. Very interesting category. Okay. And it's a nice Pokemon. mix. We had a very nice mix. All right. Yeah. Here we go with the scores. We're ending out the night. <sighs> and let's start with Team Normal. That's what you get from calling yourself Team Normal. <laughs> Seven. Stop the count. <laughs> yeah, it's still just a tie. That's okay. Yeah. We'll, take right. it. we'll take it. We like inflation. <laughs> When it comes to our score, six. Double. Now we'll stop the count. Detached from reality. 
We got nine. Ooh. Did we get ten? Nine. Okay. Ouch. Is asking for a pardon and an admission of guilt? Asking for well, some friends. I would just like to thank Jamie for choosing a category that I've already prepared for a future bonus round that I now have to throw out because <laughs> I got a ten. Oh, wow. My God. <laughs> Ah. We hate you. <laughs> All right. It's Susan's fault. Ken. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Beat yeah. Carl. Beat Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl, you got a little bit of a reputation there. All right. Anybody need me to hold that any longer? One point. Wow. Well. We got to take a picture. Well, let's just relish in this. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh. <laughs> what was it that did it to him? It was uh, the no category two. Category two? No. Well, yeah, because that one, it, everyone exceeded yeah, the score the, there. The That's delta. true. You're right. You're right. It was that and just couldn't get like one more in. The... And of course, I was the one who did category two and I was on that team. <laughs> that would be the, I was on that team. And it was fruits. It's because of me. Fruit. It's all Susan's fault. Okay. Well, oh. gee, I wonder where that idea came from. <laughs> oh, stop what you guys were doing. That's not You're going to come to your house, Susan, and cut up so much durian that it's going to take <laughs> <one day. laughs> Mark will figure out how a way of cooking it, and I will compost it. So it'll be fine. It'll make your compost smell bad. Your it'll, neighbors it'll will send it'll someone it'll looking for a dead body if you yeah. compost it. Is that bad? Oh, yeah. really they will call whatever <laughs> the control people are. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi, you want to open your Hi, windows. Alan. Good luck on the concert. Out, Susan, when you're Thank here you. in Las Thank Vegas, you. they sell it in the Asian market. That's how I know. Yeah, but I'd have to walk outside. So no. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you next week. Wait a minute. Don't hang up. Leonard has to say Hi, why Mark. he has a selfie with Ray Comfort. That was taken at the uh, second reason rally. He mm -hmm. was... Um, walking around talking to various atheist groups with or without a banana without a banana um <laughs> and advertising his his uh film that he was doing about atheists uh -huh. and he was walking around so the the stage was uh right in front of the lincoln memorial mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of sort of blind alleys and he wound up walking into one of these blocked uh, paths and I saw him you know about five feet below me uh, and he was gonna have to walk way down so I reached my hand down and said need a lift up and helped him up and out of there and you know, greatly shortened his path and he said thank you and I said you're welcome by the way I'm an atheist and that was the uh, expression he gave me <laughs> he, was, he was he was not happy <laughs> Very good. Very but didn't you say, can we take a selfie? Oh, uh, yes, I did. And, and he <laughs> owed you, so he had to take a yeah. selfie with you. Yeah, he was, he was, he was very uh Well, well done. Thank you on your feet, Leonard. Very um, nice. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to, if, if you see someone like Ray Comfort um, that's making fun of people uh, and you see he's, you know, in, in trouble, reach out to help. Mm -hmm. show yeah. him that show him that uh that you know people he disagrees with aren't always disagreeable it was good that the lord arranged for you to be there at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking exactly the same thing kyle right. how do you know you were the instrument of god Leonard. there you go if only you had a banana i've been called that before <laughs> if only you were eating a banana at the time yeah That's that would right. have made it perfect oh, that could have been or he slipped on then a banana you would have had a lecture to live through <laughs> you guys are fun all right i'm Bye. off okay. because i'm gonna go watch all these videos and i think you guys all should catch up on your on your videos because man it is amazing what's going on right now in the january 6th hearing so i need to watch them there. get on yeah i've got it i got it recorded i'll i'll okay i'll what watch it right. bye -bye. Second okay. hey. today hearing? monday they had one monday and they had one today yeah the, the second one was one. on monday oh i heard the one on monday Okay, yeah. then today. The th third one I is today. Today is all about Mike Pence. Right. I heard the days. Oh yeah. So so you're up to date. There's only been three. I think I'm up to date, but I for I had forgotten about Mondays. 
that so Monday will be the next, next. Oh, wait, can I ask Bob a question? Is it chicken related? Yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, only if it's okay. chicken related. I, I got baby chicks from Miss, Miss G, the very good governess. And mm -hmm. they're very little. And, and in the past, when I got them, the chickens were being let out, but we have avian flu in our area. So all the chickens have to stay in the coop. And yeah. the babies are are in a separate kind of protected area with their mother where the big chickens can't get in. But when yeah. I bring greens into the big chickens, would the babies like a little bit of greens? Yeah. I, yeah, if they're safe for the adults and I'm yeah, they are right. They're only just a few days old. Yeah. They're safe. They're safe from the big chickens. I, I, the yeah. first time I did it, I had one get crushed. So, oh, I put them separate in a bananas. In, they're in a tub with tops. Mm -hmm. I don't think you I, give bananas to chickens. I did let them have no. some strawberries, but they like they, the greens. Like if I pull greens from the garden, they, they love bananas. I, I was telling <laughs> my group. Um, I take a banana peel and I pin it to a piece of wood with push pins. So with the fleshy side up and then they eat the that white fleshy stuff off the peel. They love it. Oh. Yeah, Real I stopped. I, I was eating a banana outside and I threw it on the ground and the chickens came over and started to pick at it. And I go, oh, I'm not going to throw my banana peels out anymore. So, <laughs> I give Real so quick, anything... So anything good for the big chickens would be fine for the babies to pack at. Yeah, I think so. I started giving mine, you know, I would uh, grate up carrots, little pieces of carrot and stuff. But yeah, I think. Oh, okay. Because right now I just give them crumbles. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the best thing for them. Yeah. Carl, you had so something? Yeah. So real quick before we go, since, since we mentioned baby birds, I want to show you what uh, is in the back of my parents' house today. Oh, oh, look Spencer at that. Robin. Wow. Spencer Robin, yeah. I, I, I didn't oh. have my camera when the mother was feeding them. By the time oh, I came back. Oh, look at I that. I got getting more worms. Mark, look. Here. They just sit like that with their mouths open for like 10 mm. minutes waiting for the mother to come back. Mm. Look really quick. What? This is in mm. Carl's parents' backyard. Are they making noise? Uh, I did not hear yeah, them birds. making any they're noise. Baby robins. No, because they, there's a cost to being a baby bird making noise because it calls attention. Aren't they to you. adorable, poor little things? Go feed them a <laughs> banana. They're, they're cold. Like, well, that's, that's pretty yeah. high up. I'd have to get a they're ladder like, to reach them. They're like a kind of pterodactyl. To the drain pipe. Yeah, I figured it out. <laughs> Wow. Oh, well, at least we're ending on a good note. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. See you good next night, week. Everybody. Thank you. Bye.